you please may, you, may, you, may you. be within first 10 matters extremely urgent yes my lord uh, may I have your lordships mm -hmm. kindly my lord my lord item number 86 my lord i had uh, mentioned it earlier also my lord had uh, asked me to come in the month of april my lord ah, yes. my lord uh, with this matter, my lord, to, my lord, unauthorized construction, my lord, in the Salt Lake area, my lord. Hmm. My lord, this is the uh, last effective orders of your lordship, my lord. <laughs> my lord, where he said that, my lord, that order has not been implemented by the uh, municipal corporation and also by the administration, my lord. But it is appearing as item number 86, my lord. There were other connected matters also. 86 to 91, my lord. It is appearing in the list, my lord. All right, we'll upgrade it. May it be taken up today, my lord? At any day, it's not possible. We'll uh, we'll make a note and uh, uh, at one p.m. or any other time. Well, I, I'll just intimate my other sides, my lord. No, not today. Not today. We'll upgrade it next. 80, 86 to ninety-one, my lord, of the days list. Oh, 91. You please inform the other councils, my lord. We'll upgrade it next week. Hmm? I'm so great. My Lord, WPAP 2 of hmm. 2021, my Lord. Which is that? I am very, very, uh, very humble prayer, my Lord. Very sorry, I am several days the matter is mentioned. But, um, is but Lordship is not at all my grant, my apology, my Lord. Hmm. Please, no. any fixed update, my Lord. Oh, is it what running? about the filling? Is it running in the... Uh... Yes, upgrade. Upgrade 55, my item number 55. Please, but what about the filling? But local police station today is inactive. All right, all right. Item 55, who is appearing for the respondent? Anybody for the state? Can you wait for some time? My lord, my lordship, I, my lordship, can leave to mention one more data. I'm praying for a leave your lordship to file the appeal without certified copy. And your lordship, there is little urgency, your lordship, the state of West Bengal will invoke the bank guarantees. If your lordship kindly allows me, may I move it tomorrow or day after tomorrow when it, whenever, whenever your lordship's convenience. One day it can come up on Monday. Monday, your lordship. Mm -hmm. I'm grateful, your lordship. Your lordship, if I may seek the liberty to mention this matter, your lordship, our one of the writ, uh, civil revision petition is pending before Justice Hiranmay Bhattacharya, your lordship. And your lordship, uh, he passed the order that the, all the subsequent orders needs to be challenged in that civil revision petition, your lordship, and the determination went to Justice uh, Shampa Sarkar. We mentioned the matter over there, and uh, she said that she does not have the power to assign the matter, so you have to mention before the chief. Now, your lordship, my matter is being part heard by Justice Hiranmay Bhattacharya, and it is listed today. And my other six subsequent matters, civil revisions are pending before Justice Shampa Sarkar. This is Sarkar. Your Lordship. Uh, to uh, club this matter. If suppose the matter has to be released for me to exercise power under the administrative side. So you mentioned today, uh, before this, Sarkar, is it listed today? Uh, it's listed in her list. It's listed item 2045. Doesn't it's matter. You mentioned today so that her lordship can make a order saying that this matter has to be heard along with matters which are now pending before his lordship. Okay. Once that is there, the file will come to me. I'll uh, assign it to Oblige your lordship. I mean, do you have a copy of the order where uh, I have referred this issue before the larger bench? Do you have a copy of that order? Uh, no, your lordship. You I, I do not have that order copy. Can you supply the copy? Yes, of your, your lordship. I will. Post of this day. Yes, yes, your lordship. I will. I will. And order. your lordship, uh, the whole urgency over here is your lordship because otherwise we'll have another. Today you mentioned if yes. your ladyship is able to pass the order, we can do it tomorrow also. Oblige your lordship. Oblige. My lord. Item 55. My Lord, I am praying for upgradation of item number 140 of today's list. What is the urgency? Yes, it is the said matter regarding enforcement of Supreme Court guidelines against eve teasing. The state has not submitted any report. I am ready with 
my subsequent research by a supplemented epitaph that i beg to submit on next occasion if it doesn't reach today next week next week kindly make it next week May I have my lord kindly to mention one matter. It's the state's appeal. Yep. I have filed an application for dismissal mm -hmm. on the last occasion. It's a time bar appeal. On the last occasion, the lordship directed the state to file an application for under section five mm -hmm. to regularize the appeal. It's more than one and a half month they have not filed. I'm only praying for inclusion. So please give. With your lordship, with your lordship's kind leave, my lord. I'm praying upon notice, my lord. I'm uh, uh, mentioning the matter. Seeking for inclusion in the lordship's list, my lord, so stay application. A similar lordship, inclusion in the list. Lordship. But inclusion is a Inclusion you please yes. give based on seniority will do. Yes. Lordship, may I kindly crave leave to file the appeal without the certified copy yes, of the leave granted. Much obliged, lordship. With the server copy. Lordship, may I permit you to make a mention your lordship? I'm mentioning for upgradation your lordship. I'm mentioning upon notice your lordship. See, my lord, my lord, so what is your serial number? My lord, item number 88 of the monthly list your lordship. 80? 8 of the monthly list. Lordship, the urgency is a lordship. My lord, the respondents filed contempt peti uh, petition before the uh, learned bench, single bench your lordship. Okay. Lord, and my lord, my lord, there's, there's a direction. I am for the respondent, my lord. The urgency is, my lord, my patient is still at home, my lord. The operation could not be conducted because they are the my lord insure insurance company my lord they are not providing despite the order of honorable we'll civil bench yeah. my lord, kindly upgrade put it well it's some agency my lord. yes 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 may i my lord kindly leave to mention item number 556 of the monthly list lordship uh, my okay. lord this is a pil matter of the year 2018 my lord, the urgency is, my lord, the uh, petitioners are farmers, my lord, and the water bodies are being restricted by the private respondent. My lord, this is, this is happening for all these years, my lord. All right. If, my lord, it could be, next week. if it could be upgraded, my lord. Your lordship, okay. item 104 of today's list, your lordship, this is re this was heard on 88th of February last, your lordship, and this uh, matter was directed to appear on 7th of March. Since 7th, it is appearing, but it is too low to be taken up, your lordship. The urgency is that it's the heritage buildings have been demolished. 104. And uh, uh, 104, your lordship, 100, 104. Your lordship, and unauthorized construction is being taken place. The KMC has filed a report in which they admit that it is an unauthorized okay, construction. We'll note down. We'll note down. Sincerely. Yes. My lord, lordship, uh, hmm. my lord, may I uh, mention one matter before your lordship, that item number 1062 of the monthly list. The, uh, the urgency is that the, from 2017 onwards, there is no student union election in any of the colleges of the West Bengal. No urgency. You can wait. Let the general your, election... your lordship, the leaders of the students' union has defalcated yes, money yes, from yes. the union. Yes. But please, please call the list. Lordship, may I mention item number 364 of your lordship's list, my lord. Huh. It's a group nine matter. I'm appearing for the Indian Oil Corporation. By reading down, my lord, the guidelines which the retailers has to follow by the termination order passed by the IOC has been set aside. And we are facing the threat of contempt, my lord. That's the difficult. 364. 364 of your lordship. May I hand over the You're urgency, my lord. I'm grateful, man. Item 55. Any fix? Yeah. No, no. You have just wait, sir. Let some advocate for the state appear. There's nobody for the state. Amit is Benard. Huh? Amit is Benard. Other side. You just, if you've got any other matter, finish and please come. He's here. I'm May. He's here. Ah, senior is there. Sir, item 55. Take the file. No, your learned friend is very frustrated. He is very angry with us <laughs> that we are not at all listening. In spite of three times, four times, he says, you are not at all considering my request. He is so very sad. <laughs> So, therefore, we thought we will take... For us to see, make the thumbnail on this side, but from that side, the petting will have to take. No, he has mentioned twice, thrice. So, what, what is the subject matter? Well, I am... Ah, yes. Unfortunately or fortunately, I am leading him. No, no, no. Not a, <laughs> a pond area, my lot, hmm. which was directed not to be making any construction over the same. There was a report to that effect. Malad, in spite of that, in collusion with the local authorities, Malad, a construction on the bank of the pond, Malad, obstructing the movement of the persons in the said water body, mm. 
is going on but in spite of pendency of the matter that's why mala there's have... no interim order initially in or... there was an order of status quo was there ah. that order has been violated flatly violated and uh, this construction is being put up by a private party by private party by private party but then the... this instruction come back to lot of monday or tuesday whenever convenient to lot of file is not here because not the, the issue i'll tell you that is <clears throat> monday monday we can list it. but the, the advocate who is appearing for the private party has to be heard uh, is not there today but is it no no one appeared no one appeared for the private party in spite of notice searching for the file to appear koi to brief koi only thing i'll have to check up whether they have permission for, uh, for filling up under the fisheries act but there is a provision where you can convert it subject to the subject mm. to the making of an additional water body if that permission is given that's a different thing otherwise no construction is possible on a water body रिपोर्ट वाज देयर Mr. Satyajit Mondal appeared for the respondent six and seven. What is it? Appeared for which? No, sir. We name are taken. It's there, sir. Do, don't say no without seeing the record. I think I just got the police. Thank you, sir. Well, which has have you noticed? Ah, yes, he has appeared. Mr. Pollution Control Board uh, Council has appeared. Mr. Banerjee has appeared for the state. Or we shall check up, and all the persons will be. Affidavit in opposition notice. has been filed by the fourth Apposition respondent. They have also filed an opposition to the thing. Ah, yes. The then you are saying he has not appeared. Please, sir, please make correct. Uh, otherwise, this will go out of the list, and it will come in the month of July only. So be because you, I find that my affidavit is also on record. Fifth respondent died, and uh, you have stated that you do not want to bring the legal heirs on record, and will delete the name of the fifth respondent. Accordingly, it was deleted. No. The office report says, advocate for the petitioner. Uh, no, the court was pleased to direct the advocate for the petitioner to delete the name of the respondent number five within one week. But no steps have been taken by the learned advocate for the petitioner within the stipulated period of time to comply with the order. Then it came up on 9th November 2022. Since the learned counsel for the petitioner is not present, case is adjourned. List on 13th February. Then once again on 14th of February 2023, since no one is present, adjourned. List on 27th February. we making all the you please carry out the earlier directions before you make a mention and accuse the court of not entertaining your request please go through your file please go through the orders all orders are uploaded and uh, the private party has filed an affidavit in opposition no reply has been filed and there is uh, one party has died you didn't want to bring his legal uh, representatives uh, on record Pollution control has also filed a report. The learned advocate for the petitioner is directed to serve notice on the learned advocates for the 
private respondents and also carry out the direction issue by the court in its order dated 14-6-2022. Okay. All right. So notice on so and so. List the matter next Thursday. Higher on board. Deepesh, uh, you upgraded it next Thursday. Next. Uh, may, I, uh, may I permit one mention for one, one matter? Bro, upgrade is another. I two number one thirty four. Hmm. My lord, this matter with regard to my lord, the illegal construction of our my lord, two story building is going on my lord. We, what, my lord, the national highway, national highway authority, my lord, did not take any steps. We have noted, we will see. My lord, I mean, you have directed to file a report, my lord, 134 is on today's. We have report. noted it, sir. <laughs> my review application is filed. Uh, my lord, may, may I, I permit to mention for the matter? On the last occasion, Tuesday, I have mentioned the matter. My lord was pleased to direct for mentions Thursday. So I mentioned the matter for inclusions in the list. What is your uh, case? Measures relating to corruption second rations dealer. Corruption second rations dealer. The matter is in the year 2018. What is your uh, WP number? WPA number? 191. You include it. My Lord, may I be permitted to mention matter, my Lord? My Lord, this is against the challenging and one epic card was deleted by election commission of india through all proper inquiry and investigation my lord because the person was in custody on indian and foreign sack my lord now the honorable single judge has directed to restore the card which cannot be because once deleted it cannot be restored my lord through all format it has to be done my lord now as it has not been restored my lord they have filed a contempt uh, making the contempt right, as the chief election commissioner of india my lord i filed the appeal my lord if your lordship kindly hear out the appeal fresh case Yes, my lord. Yes, you give it will be listed. If you will kindly in the next week, Tuesday, any day, because they have yes. because the content will come in the list tomorrow, my lord, as election is going next on. Next week it will come. I'm grateful, madam. Grateful, my lord. Yes, please call the list. May I seek my lord's kind leave? My lord's list item number twenty five, my lord. If it is not taken in the first half, my lord, I will be accompanying my PhD guide for a medical checkup in Chennai. Hmm. I will return on 16th. My learned friend appearing on the other side is Hello, there. This is regarding to the rape of a Bangla Bangladeshi national who was a brilliant student of Kajinojil University. And I filed an appeal that state ultimately uh, modified the charge, put this uh, rape charge. But the role of the university officials after that, she is now went, went to Bangladesh and the role of the officer, they want, they don't see, don't, doesn't come here again. By who is they can give witness before the police. Police, no. so, I'll file an uh, affidavit, some document, you, serving sir. them and then let me copy. Uh, we will have the matter next week. Because yes, lord, after 16th, my lord, no, my, kindly. I will return that, after 16th. Well, already one semester will ruin because of them. They, they gave a certificate. She, she, she doesn't come here. I am ready to do the matter. No, no, my lord takes it in the first half. I have no problem. I will be there. Uh, if it doesn't reach, we will see. Now call the list, sir. My lord, this, if not, let, my lord, kindly after six. Let, yes. well, let me post? place this supplementary. Let copy. it reach. I'll get the copy. Sure. Yes, you won't. Regarding this matter is concerned. Malat, on last occasion, Malat has given a direction specific to the amicus curiae to give a report to all the concerned parties by WhatsApp. Mm. Malat, this report was received by my client just now, Malat. And this is a little bit difficult for me to go through a 10 pages petition, number one. And uh, Mrs. Shahadatu also filed an application. And uh, Malat, uh, according to his application, a copy of the Schedule Cast Tribe report. Commission's report was given. Well, sir, sir. That copy to be given also. Okay. Well, that was scan three. If your lordship allows me, my lord. No, why don't you give copies? Uh... I have given my lord copies to everyone. Okay, I will give it in course of the day. I will give it to my learned senior friend. My lord. Then, uh, because. Last occasion, we have directed soft copies. Except, please. possibly, except uh, my learned senior friend, everybody has got a copy of that application, my lord. If not, I will serve in course of the day. If that, that, uh, that I will. 
because my lord only i have touched my lord as per, uh, there is a recommendation my lord of the national st commission my lord i have annexed that also a detailed report and the recommendation uh, now you, you furnish copies in case somebody wants to file a reply my lord to your uh, affidavit they may do so because, because my lord last occasion we granted such liberty to file an affidavit by 14th of march and reply to be filed by 21st of march now because of the delay in furnishing the copies this copy just now i received uh, no possibly my lord that was in regard to my amar uh, not my uh, application uh, not, your... not my that was possibly not with regard if, uh, uh, to my That's application okay. if your lordship directs i will i have served up, uh, up and everyone except my learned senior friend i'll do it again my lord but what is uh, what i humbly beg to place before your lordship my lord there has been specific recommendation uh, of the uh, national st commission and they have highlighted in their report my lord if your lordship kindly peruses that there has been land grabbing absolutely there there's, there's this recommendation there are two aspects to it one is with regard to the transfer of investigation which has already been done that has been done done and uh, now the central agency is proceeding no, that is in respect of 3 firs may i only suggest this my lord may i only suggest this my lord if it appeals to my lords lords yes sir yes may I kindly direct the state government to give us copies of all firs and charge sheets against charge on firs bhole dibe to fir to all are not this present fir all other firs and charge sheets you lordships advocate general there is a please request by uh, the additional sons general for supply of copies of the other firs and charge sheets seven and eight case numbers are no the, not the, the, other. the other others which have not been transferred <laughs> which have not been transferred yes copies can be given if uh, already charge sheets have been laid in more than 30 40 cases i'll have to take instruction and come so okay. copies what instruction maroj your lordships But if i may be allowed how many cases are there and we are in which stage we are each of the cases are and cases are not there because not registered your lordship that is why i request your lordship application learned advocate general reported that more than 40 cases have been registered and most your lordship, of them kindly give me 5 minutes okay. and patiently lordship patient hearing for 5 minutes lordship, without lordship, anybody's lordship. intervention in between hmm. just one thing where i wish to bring to your lordship's notice is that we seek oh, before my request my my request may be uh, Recorded in direct. Then, my lords, may hear anybody or won't. So, the learned additions also to general appearing for the uh, enforcement director. Enforcement director. Enforcement director uh, has submits that the copies of the other FIRs which have been registered as, as well as the charge furnished to the enforcement director. The learned advocate general seeks for a short indulgence to get instruction in this matter. Yes. So far, the enforcement is so far. I didn't know that we got the the original solicitor general was appealing for the enforcement. So the enforcement director is made with respect to the government having rights to do everything. Thank you. We have also taken in custody of Shahjan. We have we have is in our custody. No, no, no. There has got nothing to do with uh, the money trade. No, that way, like, I mean, I am not saying it is part. I am only saying, I mean, the FIRS and the charge sheet. Yeah, yeah. So, just like that, so 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 But if there is any uh, allegations of money change, as your lordships know, my lord, that money change is the secondary offence. The primary there must be a criminal offence. I cheat, Mr. X, and the case is registered at a police station. And by cheating, I am as well. That is the money change based on which my lord. I am not saying that I want to investigate. I am only saying that. But you know, 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 And, uh, the fact remains that several cases have been right. registered. Right. So you, you, what you can do is whether to be furnished to the ED or not is a secondary aspect. Right. Let those copies be placed before court. Let the court examine. No. Definitely. Huh? Court the court will be able. Uh, you come, sir. The learned advocate general submitted that those FIRs 
have been registered with the jurisdiction police and the enforcement directorate will not have uh, a right to obtain those copies. This issue will be considered by the court after the copies of all the FIRs and the charge sheets are placed before this court for its perusal and scrutiny. This shall be done by the uh, respondent state by the next hearing date. So Thank let you. it come on record, sir. Then we will accept. Yes, yes. Whatever it is. We are pursuant to lawsuits under direction. May I file the affidavit in opposition with regard to witness protection under the witness protection scheme? That is a submission. This is an opposition. I, I submitted, my lord. You can you see paragraph 6 of my lord's order? Yes. Uh, that uh, uh, paragraph 6, it's 7, and 8, hmm. 8, 4, and 5 of my lord's order. Now, this was supposed to be done a bit early. So that we could have reacted to this because our case is not limited to a particular person. It is. Hmm. One more submission, my lord. You kindly come to paragraph 6, 7, and 8 of my lord's order, dated 7th of March 2024. Now, yes. they have filed an affidavit saying that application by the witness for the protection order under the scheme may be filed before the competent authority of the concerned district where the offence is committed. In this regard, the head of the police and the head of the prosecution district, who are members and member secretary respectively, may be directed to facilitate the smooth and early processing of the claim so that the protection may be extended. So we will, you file an application, we will direct them to uh, take on file the application but and process question... it in terms of the 2018 scheme. Absolutely, but... One more thing, my lord. Today, who will file the application? Kindly consider this. The lady or the person concerned, the affected persons, they are, my lord, not equipped to even, I mean, kindly, then, these technicalities, why my lord has asked this? My lord could have said, my lord, that witness protection scheme says this. File application, you see. CBI is to do something, my lord, which is beyond something. Today, they cannot take umbrage with this point that you file application, then you do the... Who will do that? This is a serious matter in the sense that the life, liberty of the people there at stake. It's a public opinion that has been created. But then, but, sir... But now, kindly consider no, this. No, no. We can't say that CBI gives protection to... No, no, sir. No. So, CBI has to apply one's mind. It is, it is only taking that in law book this is written. I am copying this. Copy, paste and things. But this, with all humility, my I submit, cannot be the case here. It is not a bipartite where a rape victim or a murder victim is taking place. This if, is a. If you want a protection in terms of the 2018 scheme, that procedure has to be followed. Deeply obliged, man. If you say no, the uh, the people in that locality have to be given protection because there is a serious threat perception. That's a different matter. Yes, well, the, yes no. Well, that there can be an application in the representative capacity also to the CBA, which they will examine. Yes. Well, kindly... No, if you want a protection under the scheme, you have to fall within the four corners of the scheme. Yes, but I cannot... They cannot... We cannot issue a mandamus to give protection. We horse the procedure under the scheme. Yes, but if you say that in public interest, these are all innocent people are there, yes. they need to be protected. Absolutely. Brother. Some application can be given in the representative capacity. Even, brother, they have a lack of educational qualification also because this is a to be area. protected has to be known, no? Yes. You can't have a blanket. No, no, order. certainly, Mar, we cannot assess the court like having a blanket, but kindly create a mechanism whereby, my lord, they have. No, like... at least some representative uh, application can be given to CBI, say, giving at least a broad list of, Absolutely. of people and... in this lo locality, in this uh, ward, in this uh, area. Absolutely. Uh, they need to be protected. They will examine it. Absolutely. Well, that, that, if that, kindly... horse that yes. if somebody wants to uh, protection under the 2018 scheme, yes. Let him, him, him both give, ways, my lord. Uh, yes. Your lordship. The affidavit which is filed by the city. My lord. It discloses in para 3, if your lordships kindly come on, once in, in the list, that CBI is an investigating agency, does not have a security force or the requisite infrastructure and manpower to provide adequate protection to the witness. Then comes para 5. Then it has been right. Who is to protect them? The district by state and the district administration. 
kindly grant me liberty so that i can get a copy of mrs yes, and, and that is you and my lord only one aspect i am on my lord what is bothering my lord all the uh, everyone can do uh, uh, make complaints in their rep representative capacity my lord no issues my lord i bow down my lord but only my lord one indulgence i'm craving from your lordships my lord let there be a, i have made all the detailed prayer in my application can 3 only let there be a website or something like that my lord some mechanism of that sort my lord that was done on also in the post poll violence matter this is one aspect my lord uh, what i have made a prayer before your lordships in my application and another aspect that was touched by the early by, by honorable uh, uh, chief justice prakash sivastava as his lordship then was and the bench presided over by his lordship my my lord there are in some in in, in the areas particularly now since shandesh khali is now a uh, Uh, a very vulnerable is in a vulnerable condition there were district wise a committee was set up in each district my lord to see to it that there is adequate street lights my lord in every district if your lordship allows me i will place all the uh, orders of the, of the of the honorable bench my lord and in particularly now my lord shandesh khali my lord since now also that is ladies are also in a vulnerable condition my lord kindly Uh, dictate some mechanism, my lord, so that uh, conspicuous in at conspicuous places, my lord, CCTV uh, camera may be installed. Then, my lord, uh, there can be adequate street light because these are very. I am not on the transfer of investigation issue. That has whatever has been done, that is absolutely adequate. What has been done by your lordship? Now, my lord, these are some larger issues, my lord, which I beg before your lordships to uh, touch on these larger issues, no, my lord. In your prayer, be. My lord, on this uh, web platform. My lord, according to you, who has to monitor this web web platform? My lord, what I, with all humility, what I humbly propose before your lordship, my lord, because if there is a website like that, and if the website is uh, uh, monitored, who has to monitor the website, or who has to? Your lordship, on the last occasion, I the... had uh, on the last occasion I spoke about this. Your lordship said that when we will proceed with this on the next hearing, kindly uh, let us know how we can proceed. That is because why, my one, lord. One minute. on the last occasion also i mentioned that in the post poll violence your lordships had suggested because we said that there has to be a forum mm. where these people can come and complain mm. so on these people and i they have just mentioned that they are not capable to write how will they write an email on the website that is now on the last occasion in post poll violence what had happened your lordship had created a forum where the slsa the state uh, legal authority services a member from the slsa was there a member from the nhrc was there and a member from the state uh, uh, authorities was also there and we had uh, no issues or qualms against that all three of them were there in that forum specifically social workers like us and others they came out we went to that place we took people from there we showed them that this is the place and it was done in the city civil court just near to the high court these people from various districts they came with their aadhar card they came and they gave their complaints on affidavit which was also done by us so that uh, you know they could come out because they don't have uh, money enough to uh, ask for le legal services or help in that uh, forum everything was taken these complaints were taken they were filed and then at the end the slrc slsa gathered all the complaints and submitted before the court this is what had happened no website or email will help because these people will not be able to write any email forget the email your lordship they will not be able to write a letter now if your lordship i have heard all of them your lordship gives me 5 minute of patient hearing on the last occasion your lordship had given me the uh, permission you had granted me that go to the people who have approached you take their complaints so in wpa 93 if i can just have my can application it is can 1 for some reasons it is not here before your lordships in the meantime you can just pass on this copy so these are the complaints which i have gathered more than 6000 pages the complaints which i have got on three consecutive weekends i went to sandesh khali not alone there were advocates like amrita and amrika pande they all came out to help just for social cause we went there your lordships it was like something that we are going to distribute for free so many people came with complaints 
they had said that nothing has absolutely happened it is just being said to you know blame somebody i am not mentioning government they said it is being done to blame now they said no sexual assault nothing your lordship although i remember the entire thing i have not serviced these complaints to the state because these people will be again tortured there are statements like this one shahjan has been arrested he has so many aids they are roaming on motorcycle because these people came to give their complaints they are telling them we will behead you and we will play football with your head Please, that is what uh, uh, I, I said i need 5 minutes without I, any interference or lordship no i said allow me i will not speak when he speaks no no you, you are in custody or you are being investigated what the allegation is against i am your, thinking to your lordship's notice uh, another predicament that i am facing your lordship i, I requested for 5 minutes without interference or lordship this is very unkind to me hundred women who have signed in their aadhar card and there are 500 500 waiting in before the e gate Stating that we are being forced by outsiders to go and support these uh -huh. people, I the Lord Chief, I requested five minutes, which were circulated once and removed uh -huh. thereafter. And they say that whatever we are doing to seek protection, there are outsiders coming in. They are saying that if you don't come and burn things here in Shondesh Thali, if you don't prove our unrest, your husbands, your brothers. your uh, son in laws your sons will be called by cbi outsiders have so much power they are going to the villages and telling them that we will burn it's over 3000 aadhar cards signed by individual ladies there is another 10000 men who are ready to give instead of getting this signed we have protection we are going to come your lordships instead of getting this signed if they had made the effort to give certain kind of protection to these people then this would not have happened your lordship again with humble hands folded hands i'm requesting i ask for 5 minutes without interference i will not speak when he speaks just just to me for some reason your lordship one request no, let us there are 500 no, representatives you have to allow me to speak just to come and they can be present before your lord i also have people I, i also have people here and who I, are coming I, and saying that they have been raped I, they are getting downstairs your client cannot uh, need not show his friend client that i am representing now oh, yes I, yeah, yeah what are you doing apart from shikh shahjahan i am representing this 2000 people who are coming and approaching me every now and then you file a the, no, because they don't have any difficulty they are signing so you file the impeachment and i'll bring in their uh, You your, your, your lordships can hear him right. once i complete no, no. your lordship for some reason the can is not before your lordship and i am not serving this affidavit to the state otherwise these people will lose their lives this is one application which uh, this is just one affidavit which i'm showing showing before your lordship he's saying that people are being tortured by outsiders now this concept of outsiders has been created by them who are these outsiders what are you trying to say who are these outsiders people who are working on the ground like us without a single penny asking any help from anybody we are outsiders we are going and we are so powerful we are going and tell them i will kill your husband i will kill your son if you sign the affidavit who will believe this your lordship kindly goes through this affidavit i am not mentioning the name of the lady this lady is a married lady staying in kolkata because her husband's house is in kolkata father's house in sandesh khali she was called by the father and said that these people the ones who have been arrested for whom he is pleading that they have told me that they have taken away my land they have changed the records so this lady she goes to the father's house and what happens in the day light in the afternoon eight people including this person who has been arrested they come to their house they pick her up they take her to a particular political office of a party four to five people rape her then also they have no mercy they don't leave her they say you are going to stay as an intermen entertainment for us for 13 days not one or two for 13 days they don't leave her she is raped every day every day by four to five people after that the husband from kolkata and the father and father goes they beg they plead then they leave her on the condition no fir still this lady she still she gathers the courage to go to the police station which is mentioned in the affidavit and the police says we will not register a complaint against shah jahan we will not register a complaint against uttam sardar where do these people go even then after i said through uh, social media i spread a video that i am coming to sandesh khali whoever has complained she gathered the courage to come there and he is saying he will show signed uh, affidavits of 3000 he is saying the women are downstairs i say some women are downstairs who say they have been raped but they have no mercy for them 
this is not pretendence this is reality and the entire issue which my friend already mentioned why it is only land grabbing lordship this is a deep deep issue why because the people sitting on government post including the land officers the blro they are all together absolutely the record of rights change i am a, sing, a simple person i don't know how to read and write but my records my rights they change i come to know that the land is not in my name anymore and then the blro says go and uh, file a civil suit these people who don't even barely have two times meal to eat how will they fight a suit how will they fight a case so they have to give up that if they resist then they are raped if they resist they are murdered in my affidavits if your lordship goes through there are pictures and next how brutally they have been tortured police picks them up because police is also involved i have no qualms in saying the entire administration there is involved with the ruling dispensation and this is how people are being tortured a single affidavit if they prove is not correct i will quit my practice forever but this person after being paid from his client he saying here that all this is not true i am feeling so helpless your lordships because the first time in my life i felt that these people with tears in their eyes you know they had certain vishwas in hindi what we call faith that somebody has come to listen to us that somebody will listen to us poor people they don't even know what is the process of the court they told me that you know on fourth will we get justice how many years it will take to get justice i couldn't answer and that too from a suit but only i am requesting your lordship there has to be a forum there has to be a deep inquiry a commission needs to be set up to see what is happening in sandesh khali it is not just the matter of sandesh khali the entire area the assemblies next to it like minakha same same people from there also came with the same issue how these people who were auto drivers and rickshaw drivers have become crorepatis today by snatching the land of poor and may i submit one thing after 5 minutes is over malak grabbing Sorry, my land, five minute was too long land grabbing is so important malak that was also in the report of the schedule caste commission malak kindly come to page 25 what happened malak how the land grabbing was started this is a normal land where i can produce my crops in the evening they put saline water. water to my land the land was in such a manner i had to give me water court for that water tax land and the land becomes a very the land becomes a very it was initially produced rice now it can't it be became, used for cultivation lots of this is there in the complaints the 600 dana, the water miner well it kindly see the 600 complaints which have been filed 100 are of physical assault sexual assault the other complaints are all of the land issue where whatever my senior was saying here that you know salt is added tarpor yaar charge hote pare na sir my lord it cannot be used for time again my lord 2 3 minutes time my lord he is absolutely stop this desh patrika one of the largest selling intellectuals three articles was published my lord all of them write everything but no intellectuals come with a candlestick in the in the city Malak, kindly see the inter- report of the page twenty-five of the commission. Yes, yes, we have seen. It's page seven. Uh, Your lordship, paragraph seven. In we have already showed whatever is happening the on the ground. Physically handed what over to expect, the victims. What we expect and from your lordships. Penalty be imposed. What we expect from your lordships is that there has to be a ray of light for these people. Malak, kindly see the first page. Otherwise, no, also? no hope, no hope, hopeless. These people don't know what will be their uh, uh, future tomorrow. on like page 24 of the commission's report your lordships very most, most of them most of them are sending their uh, daughter in laws and son outside sandesh khali because they don't know if she will be raped tomorrow my lord they are quitting they are leaving the village and this there is a pattern your lordship again i will mention no matter how much we object there is a pattern the pattern is that the illegal immigrants are being made to enter from bangladesh they are becoming so many in quantity that they are trying to crap the bengali hindus yes. and palayan that is the word palayan run away from here that is what they are wanting and that is exactly happening this is the writing of sashwati ghosh one of this is exactly happening your lordship and your lordship may ask for a commission set up an inquiry and a commission if word to word whatever i have said a single word turns out to be untrue i will 
prepare my certificate before your lordships and this is my humble prayer before your lordships kindly set up a commission and find out whether this is true or not well kindly see page 24 of the report and if it is true your lordships should take step against the blro against the district magistrate has to be check and balance there is there, no society is good enough a society where women is not safe what my learned friend says is what considering my lords there has to be an unbiased inspection investigation in this regard and in case what my learned friend says is not true then tearing of the certificate won't do because she has over 6000 but then if it if it's i have 500 no, no. why is he getting personal with me your lordship no no you you said you are tearing no 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 yeah. it's not a will you tell your no no you are you are not representing uh, third that part you are you are speaking no no please, cannot... please hear us sir please hear us your application is yet to be on file you are appearing for an accused who is now under custody or under investigation and you have absolutely no right to comment upon any of these things Mm. you first clear your shadow or clear the darkness around your yourself and then let your client voice all his grievances so this shadow boxing of people who are his supporters you cannot be there and i told last question no, no, you cannot be there ajan was there if if at all balot if at all you file an application and you continue to appear on behalf of those I applicants hear, that applicants I, it's, then it's there can be a reasonable reasonable conclusion that these people who, for whom you are representing have been set up by the no, no, person no, 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 who is now behind what is this? just an audience my lord if your lordship kindly hears me for two minutes my lord my lord all they approached me i said i cannot represent them because i have already let, let, let go let those people, people, people i was only here <laughs> to my lords to see let I'm there be a to you, possibly by 5 6 years uh, like so, so no you can post no no see that they are okay that is a case and a counter or oath against oath now there are huh. under 1000 okay. people according okay. to you who are ready to file affidavits and say I, I, that I, all I, is well you are speaking on behalf of them my lord i cannot speak so let them be on record don't for, forget about that is it i was only here because they approached me i says i am a officer of the court all right even, the even court, assuming sir even assuming them, even sir. assuming if one affidavit is correct it's shameful exactly it is lord. shameful I agree with my lord my lord perhaps all the affidavits are correct my lord it transpires from the report of the st commission also they have detailed my lord yes, i yes. endorse the affidavits filed by ms ma ma so mr brewal my lord it is shameful the entire district administration and the ruling dispensation have to owe moral responsibility 100% responsibility if the safety of the citizen is if you read the nhrc report uh, nc what is it national commission for my lord kindly see page 23 my lord that yes, is yes we have got that madam we have got that page 23 i, I apologize my lord so if if at least 1% is true it is highly shameful it's absolutely highly shameful. shameful i agree with my lord my lord may i my lord my lord and west bengal west bengal boss of the uh, um, what is it the statistics report crime against it women is the safest state for mm. women am i right That is As per the National Crime Record Bureau report, West Bengal stands number one for safety of women. In the end, and if one affidavit filed by Tripurwal appears to be laws. is proved to be right, this statistics falls, the public image falls, the opinion falls. Exactly. If it falls and crumbles, you cannot resurrect it. You exactly. cannot resurrect it. Exactly, my lord. It is a PIL. Why is he interfering so much in the PIL? All right, like, that, that we will consider. Not PIL. May I just say something to one thing? And who's canvassing? Who's case? You have no right to speak in the public interest litigation. Well, Lord, I was even directed to file a reply. All right, thirty days, forty I... days. You are on the run, and pe uh, people are well, playing Lord, hide and seek. Ah, regard, pe people are a... playing hide and seek. I have a minimum submission. Be clear, Lord, because I have already been taken into custody. And uh, an obscure stand to taken that we understood as if there was a stay of arrest. and then uh, the submission is the statement political statement is that after the high court has clarified we had a, what is all this deeply uh, may i may i make one submission you close your eyes the world doesn't become dark close your eyes the world doesn't become dark 
I don't beg to my Lord. My Lord, there was a judgment which was the prevailing law. If I myself file a vakalat nama before a court of law, I'm not to be said as absconding. This is one of the most esteemed judges of this honorable court. Justice Dwarmalo Bakshi, this is his judgment. May you be pleased to consider this judgment, my Lord. Second page. In the in the first WPA 8 to 9. I have been right from the first day after Kajan I have no strong In the second phase, my lord, the, the fourth last paragraph, it starts with we also note. We also note with displeasure that the investment to have overreach itself. And this concerns the very same person. No, this doesn't concern the, this the, law, the law. law. It says in when there was a red petition filed before uh, my Lord Justice uh, Sen Gupta for uh, transferring the investigation, whereby it was ordered that the said I intervened in that. Yeah. I submitted my vakalat nama. When my Lord clearly said that I have apprehended for forty-two days, my Lord, my bail petition was pending before the lower court. My vakalat. Yet that and that particular line has become a curse for me. I cannot apply for bail. Everybody, no, no. The thing is, unfortunately, no, 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 sir. Wow. Please hear us. Unfortunately, the prosecuting agency or the person who had to apprehend you did not take that stand, but that saying that I am uh, saying that we have not apprehended him that because his AP is pending. My Lord, that, uh, that was not the your lordship is already so generous and kind to listen to him. Wherein, whereas in a public interest litigation, this is not a trial. He's trying to save an accused. Well, Lord, from the My Lord, I have been given an opportunity to be heard. Yes, yes, uh, be heard. This, there is a natural principle of natural justice. Audience natural justice is not meant for accused. <laughs> A Vakalatnam was filed. He did not even file an intervening application. And, my Lord. I have an answer to that, my Lord. Once my Lord's senior is over, I will answer to that. My Lord, because this is not what he's trying to cover up. Because I was, a, I was there arguing that matter. All of a sudden, a Vakalatnam was filed. He came and he intervened and he started taking submissions. When he started making submissions, the Honorable Judge said, Who are you appearing in this particular application for police in action? He said, I'm appearing for Sikh Sajjan. He was not even a party. Then he was asked to file a Vakalat Nama. Yes, he yes. filed a Vakalat Nama. Then his oh, status yes. was retracted by his counsel. No, by me only, my senior. Your Lordship, yes. if, if we follow the principle of innocent until proven guilty, what difficulty he has if there is a commission which is set up? No, no, my lord, my lord, my lord, when I came to learn that it, I was a, I was the accused and it was a writ whereby the investigation agency was being decided, I realized I do not have a say in that matter. I withdrew. The only reason I filed a Vakalat Nama, the only reason I filed a Vakalat Nama was because I wanted to know what that case is. If I was a necessary party to that case, I don't know. But once I realized, why is it that? I did not back for the Honorable Judge of the Honorable Court and anticipate And then the Honorable Judge of the Honorable Court was sitting in their office with 810. They are going to ensure that the gentleman is arrested. Handed over to, I apologize, to CBI. This has been the written of the female. Now he's championing for that is much needed. Your Lordships, my prayers are simple. It will not intervene with the natural justice of the accused. My prayer is simple of setting up of a commission monitored under an ex-justice so that the reality comes out because they are challenging my authenticity. They are challenging that whatever work I have done on the ground is juta, is not true. So I say that a commission needs to be set up, a forum has to be there where these people can approach and not maintained or, you know, uh, people or members should be of the state. Because when the police set up camps, what happened? These people who went to the camps, they came to me. They said then in the afternoon, they took the complaints. In the night, they said that come and go and withdraw your complaints. So what will the police do? In Hindi, we say rakshak hi bhakshak. So the people who are supposed to give protection, they are the people who are torturing them. The entire area, your lordship, has become a racket. A racket of money, which they are enjoying on the cost of the blood and sweat of this poor people. All right, we'll hear. Lord, only one my, my lord, 
And just one line. We have heard so many high high sound music. Now I have a very low sound music. From the, sound from the detailed judgment delivered by your lordships appointing the CBI, there was a clear finding that there is total collapse of administration and as such, Sajan was not ad arrested for 56 days, number one. That is one aspect of it. No, I'm coming, I'm coming I'm to that. Responding. Now, it's after, after the... the court of law. Please, and the please, court of the please state. stop. Here. Now, then you know, when Sajan was arrested and he was taken by the CBI custody, how does an accused have a right in a PIL? I have never heard to say so many things which are being decided by a law by the elaborate judgment so actually, and affirmed by the Supreme Court. That aspect is over. So the investigation is being proceeded with and he, he has got his uh, uh, methodology of defending himself in those proceedings. Now the second aspect is what has to be done with the other prayers in the writ petition as well as in the various can applications. Yes. So one of the prayers are to... Uh, my Lord, if your Lordship allows me two minutes, my Lord. Uh, is to set up an independent commission uh, so that the grievances of the people, uh, they, they can be uh, examined Assess. for its correct, correctness. And suppose if somebody else says, no, no, this affidavit was obtained by threat and force, I am hmm. very happy with the situation, they can also depose before that independent body. That is one aspect of it. Second is CAN application 3, which is based upon uh, Madam was mooded, uh, where one of the documents annexed is the National Commission of... CAN 3 is my application, my lord. Where they but, want... Well, I have want, uh, prayed for a constitution of a committee, my lord, to look into particularly the forceful land grabbing matters, my lord. This is one, my lord. And why I have, my lord, prayed for constitution of a website. I am not against constitution of a committee, my lord. Absolutely, that is one of my prayers, my lord. Because, my lord, it is difficult from them, for the people. I had been to Shandesh Khali along with the ST Commission. I, had, uh, I have seen, my lord, they have to cross the rivers. It is quite tiresome for them. It is quite burden, burdensome for them to come all the way to Kolkata. But if there is a website, my lord, there are some people, my lord, I have seen there, there are some people, my lord, who are quite good, who have knowledge of writing and reading, my lord. So they can also assist if a website is set up apart from the com com uh, committee and if it is uh, if the if it is published in newspapers bengali newspapers they can form their complaints they can make their complaints in writing and they can give it on the website if they do not desire to come up to kolkata if they find it difficult because they are always under threat if they both come can happen, they cross, so both can be done both can both be done can like event and what can be done and say third my lord what was touched by the by honorable chief justice uh, prakash Srivastava as his lordship denvers and the honorable bench presided over by him i had made a specific prayer regarding shandesh khali already committee there was and uh, the, a matter is also pending before your lordships also possibly it is in the mo monthly list uh, or something like uh, it's mm. uh, it's not very near my lord mm. but in for every district a committee was set up along with the district uh, members like district committee and the regional uh, manager of the electricity regular uh, distribution company and uh, uh, a lawyer who happened to be my junior all only and Another person, I really do not recollect, my lord, I apologize. So this is very important, my lord, with all humility and folded hands, I pray, my lord, that there may be CCTV install camera installation at conspicuous places. And because it is the call of the day, my lord, Shandesh Kali issue, kindly direct, my lord, the, the committee or your lordship set up a committee according to your lordship's wisdom, my lord, and so that they can look into the matter and at the earliest adequate street lights may be given in the district, in the areas of Shandesh Kali. There are nine islands in Shandesh Kali. Let those at least, at least, because, because this is a, this is a, uh, the place is really burning now, my lord, and every opportunity and every chance is there that the uh, rape and uh, sexual assault might continue for days. Your lordship, in is, all the uh, affidavits, the there are nine to ten common is, names. Is, yeah, uh, in all the affidavits, if your lordship goes through all the affidavits, which is actually very difficult, but since we took it every day, so we know eight to ten names are common in all the affidavits. Now, who are these ten great people against whom police is not registering a single case when 700 people are standing and saying, that these are the hooligans. Well, not only one prayer. Well, only, let him, let him. Well, only one. Medium voice, Manad. Manad. Medium voice submission. Manad, I, being a journalist by profession, earlier prior to this journey, 
I personally travel to seven places of this Sandesh Kali personally alone. This is Malad, Shorbedi, Agorhati, Hadgachi, Sandesh Kali, Kulna, Bermanjud, Jaliyakha. I personally alone. Not from any political okay, party's instinct. I personally visit. Malad, once upon people. a time, there was a rural reporting award and we traveled throughout West Bengal only for get the award from statesman newspaper. Very prestigious award. I never received it. But somehow, I was forced to go there alone and travel all these places alone. But at what happens, I see the rule of law was broken. This is the first problem happened. Whatever political thoughts, arrays, non-arrays is not my issue at all. But the second problem is, Malad, the grabbing of land, which according to me is violation of international human rights law, but on which I wrote a book in National Law School, Malad. And that book was forwarded by Professor Menon. Malad, that book was teaches in National Law School as an bare act. Malad, what I understand from National Law School, that if the human rights was violated in different parts of India, including West Bengal, you people alone travel. That was the advice of Professor Menon. And I followed it in the aid of this middle of 54. Malad, I personally travel, not blocked by any political parties, not influenced by any political thought. I traveled everywhere from this country with my own mobile, nothing more I have, the photographs. But I don't want to show my photographs. What I try to appreciate before this court, how the rule of law was broken and how the land was grabbed. This is my only issue. And this is for the first time, Malad, which I showed before the Lordship, that only one magazine from West Bengal had written four articles by four topmost intellectuals, which is called Horon. Sita Horon, Malad, I have seen. The land Horon, they had written. No intellectuals come to Calcutta for a candlelight also today. Although for Nirva, whole India was broken. But for the Sandesh Kali, nobody was broken. Neither Aparna Shen was there, nor Koshik Shen was there. Nobody was there. <laughs> Malad, I personally travel. I hope in the last next course of action, date of hearing, I will show Malad how land was properly grabbed and human beings are, are absolutely <laughs> feared to say anything against police and administration. Your Lordship, the only ray of light is a commission. The only ray of light. All right. We have noted, we have heard you. Sir. Grateful, Lord. Small submission. Uh, there was one PIL filed yeah. by Shonarpur Dhala yeah. Tribal yeah. Welfare Society. Yeah. Yeah. Same cause of action, same land and question. It's that quite matter quite is also pending. Yeah. I think that matter should be clubbed because there are two reports filed. One by the PLRO and the PLRO. Yeah. And the other respective, uh, what is the uh, report? WPA 498 of 2020. It has to be tagged along with this matter, Malam. Because I am also appearing in that matter, but that matter was never referred to. But there are multiple FIRs thereafter was created by the uh, sec the multiple PILs that are filed. And oh. secondly, my lords, the question as to why am I appearing in this PIL was asked by a very learned senior friend of the bar. For whom we are proud of, he's the ASG. Just one minute, my rights are being affected. This is the 167 application filed before the ED court. Now, there's one more thing. This is what the ED had to say. Paragraph 19, just one reading, my lord. Yeah. Of course, this is your order. My lord, to humbly assist oh, your lordship, lordship. Sorry, lordship. Sitting, sitting in the my jail. Lord. My lord. Hello, Hello. to place the orders one before your lordship. Minute, one minute. Heard you. This is so not only, going to help. Only it's not going to help. It's not oh, going to help. Man, it's not not only my lord, this much indulgence. I may be given, my lord. It's not a trial court. This will also not help. This paragraph is going to I'm just going to give it to you. Now, my lord, no, 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 same WPA 4011 is the subject matter of the Lord Code Bureau, you know, that is the Code Bureau. Why this matter is being because in that case, in that code, in that code, in that code, reference of WPA 411 was taken to prove that the arrest is important. That is different thing. How is it effective here? That is affecting my rights, my lord, which is why I have a voice in this matter. Minor, only, 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 only one submission in the event your loss you decide to appoint a committee or a commission, there may be some guideline or issues be framed. Otherwise, the entire exercise will be futile. 
and we 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 uh, agree to that my lordship because as a bangali i want my lordship may submit a woman a seat we are proud as a bangali that bengal is one of the top yes yes we know that it has to be there no we, we we request this honorable court no original to रिपोर्ट माइ लॉर्ड ऑल दिस इशूज स्पेशली लैंड ग्रेबिंग इशू माइ लॉर्ड फ्यू लैंड आर बींग माइ लॉर्ड रिटर्न इट शोज that they are admitting that lands lands Absolutely. have been grabbed but the way they are returning the lands that is not proper and true my lord in that way lands cannot be grabbed because lands were grabbed by personal per few persons how state my lord they are returning the land my lord i have raised this issue along with the torture issue my lord i also found that several women are being tortured but the way complaints have been lodged before the police station probably that way is also not my lord legal so my lord as my other friends they have stated before your lordships whether if a commission can be cons uh, uh, my lord created before them my lord without any fear my lord they will come and lodge their complaint my lord i also think that that will come in thousands my lord in thousands your lord, lord i will not drag it further lord, but lord, as lord, for my friends submission, submission of bringing regional things in between a bengali fights for an accused and non bengali fights for the no, bengalis of the not, state no 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 no, no. my lord we shall not there is no difference we are all indians my lord there is no difference hmm. all indians my lord all right my lord am i my lord am i audible to your lordship my lord my lord only my lord am i audible to your lordship practice uh, harder try harder certain orders of honorable justice uh, chief justice yes, prakash divasma has given that uh, okay. electricity issue my lord since your lordship yes we are noted that may i speak with you for your lordship because okay. i have not okay. speak before okay. i before your lordship what 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 do you want to please that has okay. come from the yes yes that you sir please your lordship may i submit something my lord your lordship the report needs to be done by your lordship please monitor that and it has to be time bound Otherwise, it will be of no effect, Your Lordship. Yes, but my Lord. Well, may I check it? I'm appearing in. I, my Lord, I'm appearing in yeah, WP. Check in balance has to be. If the allegations turn out false, then we will examine. I, no, Mr. Alok, my Lord. My Lord, just I would like to take two minutes, Lord. My Lord, I'm appearing in That's WPA one zero four of twenty twenty four, my Lord. Mm. Two things I would like to submit, my Lord. One is. My Lord, may I take leave of the court, my Lord? Yes, yes. Deeply obliged, my Lord. Deeply obliged. Thank you. Only two things, my Lord. In my case, my Lord, I am seek primarily seeking CBI inquiry, court monitored. This honourable court in monitoring CBI inquiry, my Lord. And I had initially preferred a petition in honourable Supreme Court. Honourable Supreme Court had granted me liberty to approach this honourable court. By that manner, my Lord, I approach this honourable court. In the last hearing, my Lord, your Lordship directed me to furnish my a copy of my petition to the learned Advocate General, learned Council of CBI. i duly submitted twice my lord no response has been received now after hearing what uh, ms tribrewal has stated i think your lordship will also be inclined to direct for an independent investigation if the learned friend from state doesn't want to file his reply my lord i am ready to uh, submit my points right. my lord my lord I, another point is this my lord my lord your lordship this very bench had directed for cbi inquiry in uh, attack on ed officials cases my lord Uh, CBI inquiry was directed, and now he is in the custody of CBI in ED. Against that, the state had gone to Honorable Supreme Court, my lord. Honorable Supreme Court refused to interfere into the direction of this Honorable Court uh, directing CBI inquiry, my lord. This matter is, my lord, similar, my lord, in my humble submission, my lord. Independent inquiry by independent investigation uh, agency is required, my lord, and that too under investigation of this Honorable, uh, under monitoring of this Honorable Court, my lord. so my lord if my learned friends wants to the state uh, lawyer wants to close his right to file his reply my lord lordship may hear me my lord in my petition apart from my supreme yeah. court order my lord i have also attached certain uh, findings of national no, commission no, uh, mr sir uh, yes, essentially your prayer is an independent agency should enquire into the matter yes my lord that is the, uh, the long and short of the story is an independent yes, agency has to look into the matter huh Under and, monitoring uh, of this honorable court, and also, my lord, I have relied upon a judgment passed by Supreme Court in Manipur incident, wherein the honorable Supreme Court constituted a SIT comprising of officers outside the state of Manipur, my lord. 
even in the SIT of the the CBI inquiry, which was directed Milord, it was specifically directed that will be not headed by the local uh, officers Milord. I have annexed that Manipur judgment also with my petition Milord, and that can also be seen. Uh, entire modality was done. Apart from that, Milord, in Manipur petition, the Honorable Supreme Court also constituted a, constituted a committee comprising of retired High Court judges of three Honorable High Courts Milord, retired Chief Justice. And uh, honorable high courts of uh, judges of three or different high courts were sent to Manipur as a fact finding committee, and they were given all the powers so that the victims can directly interact with them. So while I second what uh, Ms. Priyanka Timrewal is saying that there has to be a committee under monitoring of this honorable court, I also request that a con uh, that the constitution of a committee of honorable retired judges, in line with Manipur case, may kindly be considered, and there can be a hand holding milord wherein the victims can be directly approached, these people, the committee can directly go because victims, we can't presume them to travel to the committee in okay. Kolkata or Delhi or anywhere, my lord. So the committee may be requested to go to the concerned place, meet the victims, and thereafter a report may be submitted, basis which the this honorable court, under this honorable court's monitoring, my lord, can direct the investigation. And my lord, yes. uh, apart from this particular uh, prayer, my lord, I have also requested, I had highlighted in the last hearing also, my lord, if your lordship sees my uh, page 25, of my petition, I have hmm. also requested that there has to be a witness protection, there has to be a deployment of CRPF, my lord, because as of now, my lord, unless there is a <laughs> confidence building amongst the victims, my lord, there is no likelihood that the victims okay. will freely come and depose before the committee or before anyone, my lord. Uh, my, lord my lord, in my prayer clause, if your lordship sees, the first prayer is definitely that, that the investigation should be from CBI or SIT under the investigation, under the monitoring of this honorable court comprising of officers outside uh, the state of West Bengal. And second is, Milord, second pair which I have made is that three retired judges of Honorable High Court may be requested and a committee may be formed who can visit Sandesh Kali, uh, meet with the victims, gather evidences firsthand and uh, submit a report before this Honorable Court. Third prayer which I have made is that, Milord, the, the, the victims, they are required to be paid the victim compensation also, Milord, under relevant victim compensation scheme. Your Lordship had indicated in the very first hearing in this case that the Legal Services Authority can be roped in so that they can they can also examine that particular aspect because, because if there are, there are allegations and, uh, of rape, Milord, then the victim compensation scheme also is there, Milord. And yes. Lord, another uh, another request I've made is that there has to be a fast track court uh, trial that will be subsequent stage, my Lord, outside the state of West Bengal, preferably in Delhi, my Lord. And I've also lastly requested that stringent disciplinary action should be taken against the erring officials, my Lord. Yes. Because, my Lord, there is a clear case wherein the concerned police authorities and also various other authorities. Even if we see the land grab cases, my lord, now it is very clear, and your lordship had very rightly pointed out in the in one of the hearings, my lord, that if now lands are being returned, that itself shows that land was illegally grabbed, and there has to be. No, no, uh, Mr. Sivat, sir. In fact, yes. that observation is forming part of our earlier order. One of yes, the earlier lord, orders uh, we have made that observation. Yes. Now we will hear the learned advocate general on uh, this submission. Yes, ma'am. And one last point, my lord, I have annexed that particular uh, judgment of Honorable Supreme Court, Manipur judgment at page 28 onwards, my lord. Your lordship uh, would like to see that, my lord. Yes. There is, in uh, a similar, yeah, we will go through it. We will yes, go my lord. In a similar case, my lord, a modality was mentioned how we can try to dispense justice to the victim. Yes. I'm yes. deeply obliged. Yes. Please, please. There are so many things. Yes, sir. But so many things have been said to the court. That is why I am noting, though. Yes. But I will be a bit uh, elaborate about the public interest litigations that are filed in Calcutta High Court. That we have in the past noticed public interest litigations primarily due to occurrence of certain events. And your lordships will find that so long the event is alive, public interest litigations pour in. The moment another incident happens, 
know what it turns up. This is one aspect. The other aspect is that in the public interest litigations, even though it travels to the Supreme Court, when reliefs are granted, there are very few takers of that relief. I'll give you a lot of the examples. Third is, in the entire state of West Bengal, you will find, your lordships will find, a handful of persons who are really interested about the public interest. But let us keep aside Lord, this from this Kali aside for the time being. The public interest litigations, as your lordships have always held, let it not be a political interested litigation, let it not be a personal interest litigation, etc. You know, there has been you know, a gross display of personal interest in the advancement of arguments today by so many parties over here. But I repeat it once again, you know, there has been a gross display of personal interest. Now I go back. Milord, in the last Panchayat election, I think it was in 2018, series of public interest litigations were filed that there has been a large scale rigging, booth capturing, killings, etc., etc., etc. Orders were passed by this court. The defense of the state was that writ petitions, PILs are not maintainable, the high court should not entertain the remedies by uh, filing election petitions. Well, Lord, whatever is the order passed by the court, the matter travels to Supreme Court. Supreme Court says that yes, under Article 142, we are extending the time by a month for all of you who are aggrieved to go and file election petitions, not a single election petition. Now, these are the outcomes of the so-called Miller crocodile tears before the court. Number two. Yes. Post-poll violence. You are my worthy junior, Mr. Brewal, had done a lot of work during the post-poll violence. Various orders were passed, CBI investigation, NHRC reports, etc., etc. Primary grievance was that people have been uh, ousted from their houses, etc., etc., etc. How many of the Millard allegations survived today, Millard? Your Lordship will kindly consider before Millard all these Millard uh, prayers which are being made today before the court. Finally, how many were found to be justified? Because there were large-scale allegations of rape again in the post-fall violence. Matters were handed over to the CBI. Lord, please call for a report on how many of them were finally found to be true. But this is one aspect of the matter, Millard, which your lordships took, should take Millard judicial notice. But I, I Millard, very humbly submit, Millard. But often, Millard, Please kindly do not take me amiss, Millard. But often, Millard, the court is misguided by such Millard high pitch arguments. The government, whether it is the state, whether it is the center, whether another state government, Millard, they are always accused of all kinds of Millard negative activities. I say the entire advocate community is corrupt, bad. And that is taken without judicial notice and without some orders are being passed. Now, when you say that the entire administration is at fault, well, it cannot be. It is an unbelievable thing to argue that the entire administration is bad. They, you have IPS officers, you have state officers, you have got central officers deployed all over the state. And without one line allegation, 
that the entire administration is corrupt, entire administration is siding with the accused. Look, there are remissness. I, I don't say that. I don't say that. There are remissness. But you know, these kinds of general allegations that the entire police administration is siding the accused, Miller, in my very respectful submission, Miller, calls to be rejected at the threshold, unless there are few examples, specific examples, Miller, to draw the confidence of the court, Miller, in respect of the allegations that are being made. But next aspect of the matter is Millard. The basic argument after this Shandesh Kali has come into surface is that women were so unsafe for the last so many years that they couldn't come out, they couldn't complain. But this is absolutely wrong. I have given the statistics made in an order which has been recorded by this honorable court. That if two women could have come, Miller, 200 women could have also gone to the police. If two complaints, Miller, has been accepted, then 2,000 complaints could have also been accepted. There cannot be, Miller, any reason to accept two complaints and discard 2,000 complaints, as they say. Now, it is very difficult, Miller, to defend these kinds of allegations where the administration has to be given some credence. Some credence, Millard. Millard, both the judiciary and Millard, the administration, Millard, have this vulnerability of the status where common people can easily point out or, or make allegations, Millard, against people who are in responsible position. Millard, people, Millard, does not hesitate to call a judge a corrupt judge. People does not hesitate to say that X judge has been bribed in Y case. And that is the common perception in our society. Ask one person, have you personally bribed the judge? No, 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 X has told me, Y has seen it. The same position is with the Millard, the state machinery. The officers who are responsible for the day-to-day -day administration. It is very, very easy to point fingers at others without proving anything. Now, Millard, we need to Millard, first get out of Millard, this common perception. Millard, I also, Millard, as a common, humble human being coming from a middle class society, have seen from my childhood, from my, and I am sure your lordships have also, Millard, we, have, we are all Millard in the same soci society, maybe uh, from different places. That if someone goes, now of course we don't have that uh, uh, red beacons. If somebody goes, when he used to go with red beacons, people without knowing who is in the car used to say a chor jache or a thief is going. This is the common perception. And it is, is it expected that that person will come down and say or prove that no, 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 I am a saint? Is it required also? If a dog barks at me, should I bark back at the dog? It can't be. Therefore, Millard, the incident, Millard, I don't say the incident has not happened. The allegations, correctness, incorrectness, Millard, will also be, Millard, looked into, Millard, at the appropriate stage by the appropriate authorities. But kindly consider, Millard, Whether the court is confident, but again, Miller, can you not take me amiss? But this is Miller, the questions made which which should which the court has posed to itself, the Supreme Court, the High Courts have posed to itself. That is the person who has come before the court a genuine public interest litigant. Or is he masquerading for others? Is he a bystander? Is he a politically motivated person? Is he a media interested person? Uh, person? 
You know, these are the questions, you know, which your lordships have posed to yourselves. Please take judicial notice of the gross personal interest that has been displayed before the court. Yes. But I don't think we would have earned an impression in this court that I disrespect my colleagues, whether they are senior, junior, and whatever they are standing in the bar may be. But why I say this? Because I need to say something about the lit litigants who are before the court. But my worthy junior, Mr. Tibrewal, Willard is found to spring into action when once something happens. The first question is, does she do this, Millard, as an ordinary citizen or as the representative of a political party? Well, we have very good relation. We will have that relation. You mentioned I was your chamber junior. Yes. Yes. The first thing which is to be clarified by Ms. Tibrewal is whether she is over there or she was in the post-poll violence working for the person as an ordinary Indian citizen or as a representative of a political party. This has to be clarified first. Yes. Well, the second aspect of the matter is a public interest litigation requires research. My lords have held. What research is these have these persons who are before this court made before coming to court? My Lord, research means not gathering information after an event fortunate. Uh, unfortunate or whatever has happened. This is not a research. Research is something which a person does irrespective of an event. I may give you a lordship an example. Say for example, you know, the class of workers, they are being deprived. Now this deprivation has gone over say for 20 years. A person comes before the court and says, without any incident triggering him or her to come to court and saying that I have made research, I belong to this class, this is my profession, this working class is either connected to me or not connected to me. Now see sir, see my lord, this is the research of 20 years they are being um, ill-treated or not given their salary, wages, etc. for the last 20 years. Why will a writ petition in the public interest litigation be filed only after an incident takes place? 42 FIRs were already there on, on record. What were these people doing when these FIRs were being filed? Land grabbing, according to these persons, I don't want to admit or deny any of the allegations for the time being. But I'm at the threshold stage, Miller. Whether your lordships would be swayed by these crocodile tears or not. But I consciously use this expression. Because I'm seeing for the last few years that an event gives rise to a bunch of public interest litigation lost sight of when another unfortunate incident happens. Therefore, there is no research. 
I, I'm sorry, Miller, I, I lost track, Miller. They allege that land grabbing had taken place for X, Y, Z years. What? Where was the research? Where were these people? But somebody from the back says that it is a continuing cause of action. I, 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 I just will not percolate into your lordship's years, Millard, what is being uh, the running commentary. In a public interest litigation, where the concept of continuing cause of action doesn't arise because you need to research and come. And research is not what has happened today and related back to five years, ten years. That is not research. Research is something done independently, irrespective of an event or a cause of action to find out the sufferings, negativities involved in the matter and then come to court without being triggered by any incident and to say, my lords, this class is suffering. Very, I very humbly request your lordship to consider these aspects of whether this has been highlighted or not. Well, what I am saying is, Milord, are the questions, Milord, which your lordships have posed to yourselves, Milord, before entertaining or dismissing writ petitions. Now, Milord, may I come to, Milord, the subject matter over here. Milord, I have full faith, Milord, on the amicus, uh, and Milord, I'll rely upon that report of the Achyam now, please have a look to me at the report of the Amicus. But please take me out the second page of the report of the Amicus. No, no, the police no, 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 all personally interested. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my lord, may I have your losses deep? Yes. But please take me at the page number two, paragraph number one. Yes. Shondesh Kali is a village in so and so place under such and such in the Sundarban region in the state of West Bengal. It is part of Ichamoti plain located at so and so. The land in this region is extremely fertile for cultivation and numerous rivers, creeks and khals crisscross the area. The area is overwhelmingly rural. It is an island in the Sundarbans close to the Bangladesh border and is reachable only by boat. This area was the heart of Tebhaga movement which was a pioneer movement formed after the protest of the farm, farmers in the region in the year 1946 to 1947. But each place, Millard, has its own history. 
each place will not have or the nature of the people of each place millers differs because midnapur is a district which was pioneer in millers in the uh, uh, freedom movement your lokshis will find your people of midnapur somewhat different from the other parts i do not know what is the reason but this happens a an area which is fundamentally millard a movement prone area where the people are known to protest and known to protest when before independence and they want the court to believe today that in the post independent era these people or millard the successors of these people they do not know how to protest they cannot protest they are scared to protest and the only women folks are being highlighted may i read for the miller it is situated on one of the swenso swenso now the timeline of the recent events january 5 a team of enforcement directorate officers went to conduct a raid at the house of swenso in connection with the ration scam first minute may i pause here for a moment ration scam is being still investigated by the state police under millard the investigation of the state police millard people high and low has been arrested when was the application for transfer of the ration investigation was made after this incident had happened so it is under investigation of the state police therefore there can be no reason to apprehend that an offshoot of a ration scam cannot be investigated by the state my lord ed is known to go before the court and say my lord this is a 10000 crore scam this is a 5000 crore scam without even my lord appreciating that the gravity of an offense is not dependent upon the money trade money involved the gravity of an offense is involved i, I mean determined on the basis of my lord the punishment now ed millard makes a lot of you and crying say that x amount is involved y amount is involved therefore it is so serious that it should go to the cbi xyz another agency of mine we both brothers can exercise the job then kindly take millard in connection with the alleged ration scam his supporters attacked the ed team and injured three officials they also helped shahjan to escape but please this two sentences are very important what is being projected today that 99 out of 100 people of that area are scared of him were scared of him could not come out could not speak out their mind then millard well, these are all millard things made which are to be taken note of millard i cannot well ask the court to go for a roving inquiry which my learned friends want the court to do but these are also things to be appreciated if one a person was again millard my submissions should not be taken to defend uh, an accused my submissions are millard to project before this court that is the gross reality as is being placed before the court is prima facie justified or not millard if a person is known to be a goon if a person is known to have a racket to rape people x y z land grabbing etc how could millard hundreds of people come outside to defend that person because the ed's case is that he was in his house locked from inside and his mobile phone was con continuously busy 
that is easy, it is case your lakshmi may come across those miller when if a matter comes then how could miller these people gather is it that because of 10 telephone calls 500 people gathered over there out of fear but it is unbelievable miller according to me miller to assist your lordship scott miller i don't think miller it is believable yes but according to ed it is 1000 but i i'll not go into numbers second this miller your lordship has seen the chorus that's uh, send it to some independent agency or the commission etc etc this is this is this, this is the chorus that is the essentially the prayer yes, today this is essentially the prayer but may i miller very humbly submit one thing miller when the ed went over there in a case which is being in, uh, investigated by the state police miller ed does not feel it necessary to inform the state police i don't say it is mandated if ed can fend for itself it is at liberty to do so but the question is miller who saved these ed officials Today, me the entire the police administration is. Uh, I mean, fingers so, up. Correct. You have recorded in the earlier order. Yes. Where you have made arrangements, medical treatment, yes. vehicle. Everything done. And boats were arranged. Yes. They were brought yes. here. Then kindly take me to the next uh, paragraph eight. Uh, I'm sorry, February eight, third page. Some local woman carrying brooms and sticks blocked the main road and uh, Shondesh Kali. They demanded immediate arrest of. Uh, Shahjan and his two aides, that is, etc., etc., and etc. February nine, women protectors attacked Hajra's properties and set fire to his poultry farm. Then February ten, Uttam Shorkar was arrested. February thirteen, a special ten-member female police team led by the IPS officers visited the village. We are pausing here once more. if milord what is being said by the public interest litigants is to be accepted milord it will amount to discrediting this 10 member female police uh, team please consider milord please consider judicially the complaints good bad whatever is lodged before the 10 member police team or could not be lodged before the 10 member police team is being lodged separately to my learned junior but this amounts to milord discrediting the administration milord without any particular event incident anything yes then miller kind uh, february 17 miller uh, allegation i mean charges of gang rape etc has been added then february 18 hajra arrested now please take me lord february 21 the dgp of west bengal police interalia said that the police will listen to the complaints of every individual in shondesh khali and the strict action will be taken against those found guilty you know that dgp's assurance is sought to be milord given away on the basis of an allegation made by two or three perpetual public interest litigants where i consciously use this expressions 
If required, I'll make a research and come back. So today, a class has come into existence known as public interest litigants. The entire high court is emotionless. All the other advocates have uh, no heart, no feeling. It is only a handful of persons who are so conscious about people's right that they keep on coming to court when after an incident takes place. How long are they before the court? So long the incident is life. When they disappear, when another unfortunate event happens. Please take judicial notice, my lordships, I hear me lot for so many days. Mr. Justice Bhattacharji must be having me lot this experience. From the day one of our profession, we found that a few persons mostly lawyers, are public interest litigants. After five years, replaced by another batch. After 10 years, replaced by another batch. But I'm very sorry to say, I'm saying this against my fraternity, but this is the gross reality. If required, I'll come back with the research. How will public interest litigants or advocate public interest litigants have changed from time to time? How they get lost after another batch comes? Therefore, my primary contention is whether Millard, these persons create confidence of the court of the court that yes, they are really interested in the matter. Well, may I submit one line? You know, I have not ship since my seniors one can Malad, please, please please extend the courtesy line. that I have shown to you. Please, let Please the, extend that. Let the learned advocate general. Well, it's just one line. Well, no, as a matter of decorum, if the learned advocate general is on his legs, nobody in, interferes with. No, no, I'm not interfering. I'm just giving one information. The, hmm. Prior to coming this government in 2011, well, at his senior Mr. Colon manager, senior advocate, and a parliamentarian filed thousands of litigations. And every litigation was a successful litigation. I, being a journalist at that point of time, covered every litigation of Mr. Banerjee, including Shingur Nondikra, including Tata Motors, and many more, including Vikari Paswan. All are public interest litigation. This is the information. Nothing more I want to say. Because no. your lordships cannot stop a lawyer from speaking, either it is before the court, or in the corridors, or before the media. I know that. Because we have a so-called freedom of speech. We can say whatever we want without any check and balances because I have a right to speech. But my learned friend boasts himself to be a journalist to have covered so many events. What about the events which are not covered? Are they less important? What is happening in the India-Pakistan border? How many times your Lord finds it in the newspaper? What comes in the newspaper is what the Advocate General has said, which has uh, uh, put the state into embarrassment. That comes in the news. What the court has observed, that comes into the news, not what the, is written in the orders. The time has come, Miller, when your lordships should take judicial notice of all this. Whatever I am saying, I am sure, Millard, six people will go to Millard the talk shows today in the evening, all shouting at the top of their voice. You cannot hear or make out what each person is saying. Everybody is trying to topple the other with their own justifications. And these six persons, they are, Millard, uh, what should I say? Uh, uh, Millard, experts in every field. Medical issue, six person. Political issue, the same six person. Uh, legal issue, the same six person. Something to do with drawing, the same six person. Why have the chief minister said this? Same six person. Therefore, Miller, public interest litigation, Miller, again, Miller, at the risk of repetition and Miller keeping in mind the chorus. I'll come to the chorus later on. Keeping in mind, Miller, the, the nature of the allegations, the nature of the litigation, nature of the persons before the court, 
and the triggering factor, you know, there cannot be any tri triggering factor to come before a, a public interest litigation court. A triggering factor may be you know, in the case of a, a personal interest or adversarial litigation. Today I am suspended, today I am transferred, today I am put behind the bars, I come to the court. But public interest litigation is completely of a different nature. Miller from Chaufal's case, the Supreme Court felt that the High Court should uh, frame their own rules as to what is a public interest litigation. So that the perception of public interest litigation or public interest does not differ from judge to judge or court to court. Therefore, Miller, please consider Miller whether Miller it is a case or the litigants before this court inspire confidence in the court that no, they are really here for doing good or no, the, like the sufferings may be there, sufferings may not be there. Where your Lordship said, Miller found out a method. If there is a public interest involved, let the litigants go. The court will take it up upon its own shoulders. <laughs> but I am not here, Milord, for the present to Milord defend these allegations. I'll tell you, Lord, why. But allegations across the bar are being made. My learned friend wants to rely upon 6,000 pages, does not want to disclose it. It is the court has to, Milord. Consider such a uh, such an approach. If the court feels it is permissible, it will be per permitted. But I cannot say anything on that. But why make general allegations? DGP goes and assures the people, and the assurance of the uh, DGP will be thrown in the Ganges mirror at the uh, instance of a person which whom I, Millard, very humbly, with all hesitation, say is for other purposes. Then we got February 23 Miller, uh, no, February 22 Miller, a children's park Miller has been liberated. Then fresh protest, etc., etc. Then where there is a state minister delegation on 24th uh, February, 26th February, this honourable court Miller has been pleased to clarify. Then Miller, it was the honourable governor Miller had taken certain actions. Then kindly take Miller page number five. But I must also show those paragraphs which are against me also to be fair to the court. <clears throat> A brief description of the persons who are protesting in the said region are stated below. The protesters are evidently innocent women seemingly running around with broomsticks in their hand in search of Sheikh Shahja and his aides and associates in order to seek vengeance in the form of justice. The cogent question which arises hereafter is that why are they doing so? The press is also considered as the fourth pillar of democracy and as such, the Amicus Curie finds little reason to completely discard the findings and reports which are being published by them. This takes us to the question as to what are the atrocities which are committed upon them. A brief history of the several inhuman crimes which were committed by the aforesaid accused persons are stated herein below. The accused persons would go and survey a home that has a beautiful wife, etc. I don't want to read all these, Miller. Your Lordship, may kindly read it for your, your Lordship, Miller. What I can read is Millard, subparagraph 8. A parallel government was run by the accused persons accompanied by their aides and associates allegedly under the aegis of the ruling political dispensation. I think you can come to page 8, para 5. Yes, ma'am. That is the submission you want to make. Yes. I also request. No, I'm sorry. Uh, para, uh, page 8, Millard. Page 8, uh, bottom, para 5. No. I also request. No. No, admittedly, the humble submissions of the amicus curie.
after page setting this is, uh, this is page 9 in my uh, page uh, okay. admittedly innumerable complaints were lodged by the residents and its surrounding areas being the victims against the aforesaid atrocities committed upon them by the accused persons on 26 february it was submitted by the learned attorney general that in course of hearing of the incident proceeding 43 fir's were lodged in the preceding years against so and so uh, the earliest of which was four years ago and the last on so and so out of the aforesaid 43 in 42 cases charge sheet have been laid under various sections on the indian penal code in, including so and so Further, in seven cases of land grabbing, a charge sheet has been filed against such and such. Now, but if this was, you know, going by the common perception, if this was, Miller, the action of the state police when the so full powerful tiger was outside, is there, please consider again, in the form of a question, can there be any apprehension today, going by public perception, it's not my submission, that today will, the state police will not be independent. Please consider this, Miller. Then for all these years, despite being in receipt of several complaints, the police authorities, to the best of their ability, sat tight for the reasons best known to them. The police authorities are all, after all, entrusted with duty to maintain law and order and apprehend the accused person on 29th February, being an elected representative, etc. The whole scenario including the crimes committed by the accused persons and the conduct of the law enforcing agency is a direct strike on the values of our constitution and effectively destroys the same which was forged with the blood of our forefathers. The same constitution mandates the Indian democracy to be a welfare state and the paramount responsibility of the elected government is to ensure the welfare of its citizens. The whole situation in the region went up to such an extent that the local administration had to set up a number of police camps in different areas in an effort to appease the agitating and furious residents of the area whose anger exploded after facing severe torture which was committed upon them by the accused person in all these years evidently numerous complaints have been lodged by these people in the aforesaid police camps against the perpetrators but it is yet to be known as to what steps are being taken by the police authorities and uh, as such the fate of the complaint it is pertinent to mention that as for the so and so Therefore, complaints have come. Complaints have been accepted. The administration has functioned, Millard, after the incident has happened. Therefore, Millard, now I, Millard, deal with the chorus. Millard, the purpose is, Millard, Millard, today, Millard, with respect, Millard, I may be criticized outside, but, Millard, the central agencies have lost their trust. Long back, Millard, CBI was said to be a caged parrot. Justice Ramana also, Millard, I think immediately after his retirement, he quoted the same. Please, if required, institute a PIL at the instance of the court as to in how many CBI investigations so far ordered, say for the last 10 years, what are the results? And what is the fate of the trials? We are all interested, all jumping before the court, Millard, once an incident happens. No follow-up. What is the conviction rate? When in 1990, in R.S. Sodhi's case, Millard, the Supreme Court said that to instill confidence in the mind of the people and where higher police officials or higher state officials are involved, it should go to a third agency. Millard, today, Millard, a day has come when the judiciary has to give a certificate to these third agencies that know they are impartial. Indian Express newspaper, 3rd of April or 2nd of April. But these are all matters of record. Accused switching over from one party to another party, Miller, are getting clean sheet. From 2014. Miller, with deep respect, Miller, he is Miller Landed. Milord, Milord Advocate General is speaking about Milord, the agency Milord. Yes. Milord, that is being vehemently objected to Milord. Yes, yes. Milord, this is the thing yes, Milord that yes. cannot be partial or Very somebody good. changing colors. This does not have any bearing on the agency Milord. We are the Milord central agency Milord. We are investigating whenever the court directs or Milord in under any circumstances. Milord, 
Lord, this sort of submission from the learned advocate, with deep respect, Lord, we do not expect. But in many matters, Lord, your Lordship will find, Lord, this is a practice in our court. Where I, I appeared, Lord, by, by the grace of God, for both sides, rather for all sides. In very many matters, your Lordship will find the central government uninvited, makes unsolicited uh, arguments that, my Lord, I am here. If your Lordship is direct, the CBI is ready to investigate. Why? This kind of obsequious, officious approach before the court? Well, we see in every day, your Lordship must have also, my Lord, have come across with these kinds of submission. Why can't the CBI say that I have got very less resource? It is not for, I cannot do it. There are orders of this honorable court where the state was asked to provide for logistic to the CBI. Make arrangement for rooms, transport for CBI officers. They don't have that logistic. Yet they, they are here to embarrass people. But that is why Milad, I say Milad, this chorus is only an Milad, obsequious approach before this court, but in the garb of making Milad a very normal argument, Milad, Milad, these kinds of Milad, submissions are being made. But first, Milad, in my very respect, therefore, Milad, I sum up Milad. Number one is Milad. The nature of that area has to be looked into, or the people, nature of the people of that area has to be looked into. Yes. But number two is Milot. The court must be convinced on the face of it that the people approaching the court have no personal interest in the matter. Yes. Well, number three is Millard. What research have the persons who have come before the court made? But number four, Millard, whether Millard, an unfortunate incident can be a triggering factor or give a cause of action to the filing of a writ petition. Number five is Millard, whether Millard credence should be given to these kinds of litigants ignoring what the administration has done. Yes. Number six is Miller again where it is in a form of a question. Should it or should it not be one of the factors to look into the previous incidents of PILs in this court? I don't go to the other courts or the other parts of the country. Yes. The other next one is whether the court should take stock of the performance of Miller, the central agencies in the past. When Miller, the court has entrusted investigations or inquiries on the court.
next is millard the last one millard when the bigger offense is being investigated by the state whether we have a small up, up, offshoot of that should go to a third agency And when my one line submission is Miller, the state has done whatever is required, will do whatever is required. Now, Miller, there is no 144. All 144 has been Miller uh, withdrawn. There are no allegations or incidents of Miller violence, etc. Things are as of now under control. Uh, things are as of now under control, Miller. Therefore, Miller, let the police investigate whatever complaints have dropped in. If my learned friend wants her complaints or the complaints received by her should also be investigated, it, should, it, 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 it will be done. There can be Millard, no uh, reason not to Millard, look into those complaints. Your Lordship, my Lord, my Lord, the major allegations, uh, whatever senior... On behalf of the Amicus Curie, my Lord, may I say something, my Lord? My Lord, few portions were read by the learned advocate general. My Lord, the we, have read, were, we have read your entire... My Lord, kindly, the rest, vital portions Neither he has read nor the questions, my lord. I have Cortes raised few read. questions, my lord. The court has read. My lord, grateful, my lord. I am grateful. There were few questions. I thought that replies should have come from the learned advocate general. Your but lordships, no reply, my lord. Your lordships the, all the major uh, accusations and allegations raised by my senior are pointing towards me. Your lordship, kindly give me just one minute. Just one minute. Your lordships, my senior. Although he has used so many objectives, but I will only take the word worthy because he mentioned that twice for me, that being a worthy junior of his chamber. <laughs> Your Lordships, my senior has said that I'm into a habit of coming and filing public interest litigations. Yes, sir, I have learned the same from you. Why? Because I've raised always my voice for people whom I think needs help. Now, he was talking about the post-poll violence matter, Your Lordship. He said, what is the fate of post-poll violence? Now, what is the fate I'm telling you, Your Lordships? A five Section judges... You, my Lord, uh, kindly, uh, he is an accused in the matter. His relevance is not required here. I'm replying to whatever the Advocate General has uh, raised, the objections to whatever he has raised. So, he was talking of the post-poll violence, Your Lordships. Now, what is the fate of post-poll violence? A contempt has been filed. I mentioned the same before, Your Lordships. A five judges bench has been constituted. And why? Because the state came here in the court. They said that we will give compensation, but they did not give compensation. So that is the state of the post-poll violence. My senior mentioned about the panchayat issue. That I can get. My senior mentioned about the panchayat case. He said, what had happened? Everybody came with fake things. And no, th those weren't fake. Why I came? My prayer is there in the petition. I came in the panchayat matter stating that people have been ousted from their houses. They were restored back to their houses. Why? If nobody was ousted, what was the need to restore them back to their house? Even in post-poll violence. My petition is 144. If your lordship calls for the same, the lordships will see that the only prayer which was there in that petition was that people are made to flee from their houses. I requested and on that a committee was formed where a member of NHRC with the SLSA was there on video cameras, the names, the list of names which I gave, one by one they were called before that committee and they said, yes, this and this person ousted me from my house. An entire police van took these people to their houses in various districts of Bengal. So that wasn't fake. Now he raised an allegation. He said that I come from a political party. The entire world knows that. And there is, I'm not uh, giving any kind of denial on that. I have an order here of the Supreme Court Mm, uh, uh, 2022 cases 250 since I just have one copy I'm handing it over to your lordships in paragraph 6 where it reads that a public interest litigation is not only meant for uh, anyone else but uh, a person belonging to a rival party or a political party also has the right to file a public interest litigation your lordships uh, my senior said that you know my peers are crocodile I will not utter anything about that because since he has spelled that Another thing, he said that why the ladies did not come up for so many years. Sir, when the volcano erupts and when the lava is hot, it takes time for eruption. And once the lava comes out, 
it takes with it whatever comes in the way he was talking about the ed or the cbi i don't think that i have uh, any stand to speak for the ed or the cbi they will speak for themselves my senior himself he said that he has projected that whatever wrong is happening in bengal he started from the ration scam to the violence here on the ground so he himself has uh, accepted that what is going on in uh, west bengal so i need not even comment on that then he said that why only now why didn't i come before another petition is there before your lordship which i filed in the year 2017 and if i remember correctly the date was some times in the month of june probably 19th of june 2017 what was the case it was a public interest litigation of a rape of a 68 year old women of sandesh khali in 2017 your lordship so when he said that when the issue is hot they come up with the issue no i came up in 2017 the people who were there who were accused also belong to that political party but then what happened since we have uh, people like sheikh jahan police did not arrest any of them only one person some person who was not even mentally stable he was brought before the police and then he said that he is the person who has done although the family said that he was not that person other people were there later he said let the police inquire let the police investigate what happened later the family withdrew the case that women was not only raped and murder she was gang raped and the same nirbhaya case happened with her with weapons you know they just brutally attacked her and killed her no investigation what did the police do then he is saying that i am coming up with new stories today Lord. another another statement which i do not expect from my senior because he has shown me the uh, parts of uh, this profession a statement comes from him that if a dog barks at me i will not bark at the dog these are not the dogs who were barking these are the women who were trying to bring out the plight whatever they are facing with her again I, I, again your lordships again i i, I sir i, I, I did I, not enter i mean actually no bully ni sir no 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 your your wrong conception i said that if somebody looks at a red beacon card people say that he is a thief will that person in the in the context of that person that this has been said not Achha, sir i accept it sir i will accept everything i i don't have adjectives because you already mentioned i'm so worthy so whatever it is sir i'm saying that these women are waiting for a ray of hope lastly i will conclude with this if my senior has uh, something to do with uh, my locus in the matter why didn't he mention the same on the first day when the petition was admitted he didn't he didn't talk about locus then even then if he has issues with my locus i would say that this is a matter which has been taken up suo moto by your uh, lordships and in case of suo moto the question of locus doesn't arise at all that is all i need to say thank you lordships my lords there have been certain so observations She's my body too. <laughs> no, I think she has helped me as well. Suo moto means I also have a say. So, my lords, there have been few observations by this honourable court which has affected me severely. My lords, there is one thing that I want to make clear, which is not at par relevance to this court. There has been a scam, Russian scam. Fifth, ED officials went to my house to search and seize on that particular scam. But on first of April, I was arrested, or on thirtieth April, I was arrested. Not on a scam case. ED arrested me in a fresh ECIR, drawn under Section three zero two, three zero seven, and one twenty B of the IPC. So one observation is required by this honourable court that I am not being arrested by the ED on the scam case. Number two. and i'll come to that why they did not arrest me in this scam case because there have been two bail applications and two honorable courts rejected my bail applications only on the ground of criminal antecedents the second of the twin condition laid under section 45 of the pml act not on the first the first of the twin condition in pmla says the proceeds of crime that i have been cleared of that observation is very much important because wherever i go they will put in this court's observation under uh, of wpa 4011 as your lordship has already seen my bail applications have been rejected again on the criminal antecedent case because this honorable court pronounced that i was absconding because i was laboring under a judgment which was a standard law laid by one of the esteemed judges of this honorable court 
which says once you are before a court of law with your own vakalatnama, you cannot be considered absconding. I, my vakalatnama was not only filed before this court, but also the bail application was pending before the special uh, ED court, which is at Bangshal court. My so, will give me, I lodge a caveat. My lodge, as far as these aspects of the case with the enforcement directory is concerned, but actually, at places in any incorrect manner, will kindly I reserve my right to just 30 seconds below to you know, to clear, clear these parts. All right. So, I was not absconding because I was laboring under this judgment passed by one of the esteemed judges of this court. 14th, my first Vakalatnama was submitted before this honorable court. 29th, my second Vakalatnama was filed before the special ED court. All under my name. I saw on the affidavit. So that particular observation was affecting me. Uh, observation of this court is affecting me severely. Secondly, I was not arrested under the scam case. As of today. And I was arrested under a new ECIR drawn on the 21st day of February. My lord, the date is very much important. The ECIR was draw, drawn on 21st February 2024 based on sections 302, 307 and 3, 120B which is considered to be a schedule offense under the Prevention of Money Laundering Act. Which means any money that is involved in this cases, the procedure of crime must be considered. But under which FIRs? There has to be state FIRs and there has to be Sedwell offences, sections which are mentioned in those FIRs by way of which the ED will take the case under their... So, these are the FIRs. I have submitted, I will show the memo of arrest with the liberty of this court. I mean, I crave leave the memo of arrest. I'm sorry, my lords. I have to submit such a copy because this is the only copy was made available to me. <clears throat> my lord, the first cases of 2019, Nazad PS. These are the these are the cases based on which the ECIR was drawn. Nazad PS, 2019, my lord. The second cases of 2019, third is of 20, fourth of is 22. And the fifth and the remaining cases all was registered post 20th of February. Fifth case on was, my lord, registered after 20th of February 2024. So, my lord, I'll just show sure, this was something my learned senior friend relied upon during the oh. <clears throat> uh, these are the cases pending The so well, that's, these are the four cases which was presented before the bail lower court while proving that there were criminal antecedents and antecedents and I shouldn't be grant bail in this. These are the four cases. And now all of a sudden I'm said I have 42 cases pending against you. Incorrect submissions are being made, and so you'll have your apologies. My Lord, Leonard Advocate General didn't say you are an accused in all 42. No, I'm not referring to the learned Advocate General in this matter, my Lord. No, no, that was rather I am blessed. Rather, I am you have recorded uh, 42 cases have been registered. Maybe your client is an accused in uh, some of them, or may not be. May I have the audacity to see why I said this, my Lord? My Lord made an observation in the open court and the media openly commented on it. My senior was representing, my leader was representing me that day. The first day we appeared, said there are 100 cases. We were looking for you. Now there are 100 cases against you. You take 10 juniors for 10 years you are booked. 
Yes, hundred. I stand by what I say. <laughs> I understand, I my lord, but I'm just trying to show. No, no, I stand by what I say. I, I'm not accusing, my lord. I'm not accusing, my lord. I don't have I the can give because you an my lord is one of my idols. No, no, I can. My lord is one of my idols of the judiciary, and I want to present. No, my lord, I can give you God. one instance of a matter which was a successful mediation, which concluded before the Honorable Supreme Court, the bench led by Justice Honorable Justice Korean Joseph. A conference was conducted on family court matters in. Jarkar, I was not then the judge of the Calcutta High Court. I was there in my and, uh, uh, in Jarkar. It in, was there, and uh, in I that, think my lord, my lord is referring to 2016. This was 2016, probably 18, not 16, 16 17, 18. Because I was there in Supreme Court. And, uh, no, I had to come back no, to Kolkata. I was in Supreme Court for 13 incident. years. He narrated that incident. It's a family dispute, husband and wife, very rich people, very rich people. And they had litigation throughout the country. And the wife had hired, uh, taken on lease, uh, a building consisting of about 15 apartments. And one for what purpose? To provide accommodation to all her advocates. <laughs> <laughs> My Lord, just yeah. silenced you on that. <laughs> oh, he narrated this incident. So therefore, I stand by what I said. So as long as the advocate is busy, we are very happy about. In fact, over here also there was a lady I don't find her nowadays in court who used to portray herself as a successor of Rani Rashmo. Ah. Uh, she may not near Chetla, she had a house where she used to house several advocates, mostly juniors. She had a big hall where the junior used to go, say, give her legal advice. But the best part of this is the matter got settled. <laughs> <laughs> and his lordship was able to convince the couple all cases. No, but hundreds of cases. My lord, this my, my intention is with due regards to my senior friend. I mean, see, I was not allegating anything towards anybody, not even ED. But my lord, I have never got a platform to please this before any court of law. In the bill which was pending. I filed it before your lordships. Your lordship says the regular bench will hear this. The regular bench did not allow me to get into the merits. Well, it was argued for 45 minutes. It, it, it is, it is recorded, but, but no, no, merits please, was please, not. No, because these are important don't. issues, my lord. I am not arrested in a scam case. No, no, please don't comment upon And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why this is important. Because one of my idols and most competent judge of this honorable court, who is taking care of bail applications, clearly said on the other day, that these scam PMLA cases and the normal PLA, PMLA cases should be distinguished, and he's right. No, that's on a different platform. Sir. So I am. are not. Please, please don't. But uh, there are just two observations that was made by this honourable court that I was absconding, my lord. If that allegation that we, you have said, we have said. Uh, and there is just please last one prayer I have before this court. These people are continuously approach, approaching me. What do I do with them? Should I refer to a write a letter to the uh, legal aid authority to like you know for them because they also well, this is beyond the about scope, May I say something scope right? of this case, Manas. just for a minute, my lord. My, my lord, I I'm, I'm only just for a minute, I'm, just one minute. I'm, I'm very of, sorry to indicate in terms of this Sumoto case. This is this is I'm beyond the scope of this case, my lord. And I they have stretched transfer. He has stretched and you lost the Sumoto case in the last hearing. Learned judge and esteemed learned judge of this honorable. We all did it. They just mentioned that police was taking the complaints. Why didn't they go to the police to give that complaints? My lord, in the last order, your lordship. My lord, if that happens, accused their voice are being their, their voice are being tried to be silenced. Nonetheless, okay, this lordship. honorable this honorable court will take a this honorable court. I have complete faith on your this honorable court. Your lordship kindly sees how powerful court that person is. However, one jail, request, managing my lord, lady, to come friend, to the court. The ED requested that court that he required thirty seconds. May that be granted to him because he is indeed important because this is this has been already decided. My lord, may I just take one minute, your lordship? Wait, 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 he had filed applications for anticipatory bail in connection with PMLA cases, cases. not with regard to Najat PS9. No. Was with, again, 30 seconds. Uh. Well, not with regard to uh, PS, uh, Najat PS9 or 8. 
and the anticipatory bail which was before the special court at Bangshal was with regard to PMLA which was rejected while he was on a run and the anticipatory bail which was rejected by this honorable court was also on that run. Now, Bilod, as far as Najat PS case number 8 and 9 are concerned, where he was actually on the run, he did not file any anticipatory bail. I did. It was, it was pending. I, may, may I, 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 I vouch for whatever I say. I speak on record. He filed it much later before the Parasat court where the learned district judge was pleased to ask him to give a copy to us. That is enforcement directorate. But before that, he did not file. And he was on the run. No. And in fact, he was on the run. So, Millard, in my respectful submission, Millard, he cannot take this plea that he is not an absconder for 52 days. This is my first. And Millard, second, what I am trying to say, Millard, his, he has been given audience 45 minutes. His learned counsel argued. And we had to give a closed cover envelope document to the Honorable Judge from where he deciphered that what his role was. And then it was rejected. I am not here to speak about all those things because this is not the forum. What he's trying to say, Millard, it is he's trying to whitewash. He is an absconder, Millard, and then because of him, we were put to shame. People were from from other from the political scenarios are saying that because the honorable high court is passing an order, which was the order was misinterpreted. So, you know, this yes. is factually incorrect. And what documents he's showing? We don't even have a copy. Well, um, the their application under section sixty seven uh, of the illegal arrest is with my lords. I want to show him. I had only one copy because it was their application given to me by them. Number two, my lord, whatever my learned trainer submitted that. They have shown a covered seal. In spite of that, they do not arrest me in that case. They arrest me. You the arrest memo and there is another 166 application. 167 application. These are the three documents you are ah. doing. You make copies and then... I, I will. I will. I will. Lordship, may I just address for one minute, Milord? Yes, sir. Milord, very briefly, Milord, so far as my credentials, because I was, I'm also a PIL petitioner in this, Milord, I have, I have, I'm taking up various uh, social and particularly crime against women cases, Milord. Uh, I have cited certain reported judgments of Honorable Supreme Court of India, wherein the Honorable Supreme Court has granted indulgence in my uh, public spirited PILs, Milord. So it is not that for this particular case I have agitated. But nevertheless, Milord, because this case has arisen from a Suomoto case, Milord, and I have, I have placed that order, which is there before your Lordship, Milord, at page 74. And your lordship has start, started by saying the the court. I have been grossly disappointed after going through several newspapers and electronic media reportings where it has been reported that a good number of ladies in Sandesh Kali, North Pagna have been sexually assaulted at gunpoints. It has also been alleged in a newspaper, namely so and so, uh, so and so, that the tribal lands were taken away forcibly in violation of all legal formalities and law. So, my lord, my humble submission is this, my lord. The learned, uh, respected advocate general has argued as if your lordships are only educating upon certain PILs, my lord. Whereas, my lord, we lordships uh, are aware, my lord, this particular case arises out of one Suomoto case, my lord. So, the entire, uh, more than 75% of the arguments pertaining to locus of the PIL petitioners like me are not required to be examined by this honorable court because, my lord, this, this particular case is arising out of a Suomoto case. So far as the submissions made by the learned council of accused are concerned, my lord, your lordships had, uh, in the last hearing, recorded categorically in this very proceeding, that when we are hearing the issue of transfer of investigation to uh, an independent agency or any third agency, accused has no say at all, Milord. So whatever my learned friend has, and today, Milord, what I understand is today the entire submissions were made only on the sole issue of transfer of investigation uh, to an independent agency. Even the uh, learned uh, advocate general has also responded on the same, Milord. So that is my another uh, argument, Milord. And lastly, Milord, I would like to submit that your lordship, the order passed by your lordship in ED attack case, wherein your lordship uh, directed for CBI inquiry, my lord, your lordship very uh, rightly referred to the West Bengal case, my lord, and said that uh, there has to be, the confidence has to be instilled, my lord. There has to be a requirement, and my lord, kindly see the allegations which are there on the local police, my lord. Serious allegations are there. The National Commission of Women has recorded, my lord, in it, and it has published on its official Twitter, my lord. I have, I have published, I have attached the document also in my uh, PIL, my lord, your lordship may see it. That the women whom the National Commission of Women People interacted, my lord, they said that they are being threatened and also FIRs are being filed against them or their family members.
because they are coming up, coming forward and uh, uh, narrating their grievances and their plight, my lord. So, my lord, when there are serious questions about the conduct of the local police itself, my lord, and also such a large scale uh, violations of human rights and legal rights are there, my lord. This is a fit case where CBI investigation should be ordered. And I solely rely on one judgment, my lord, and that is the same judgment passed by this honorable bench in ED attack case in identical circumstances. The, against the same person who was the main accused in this case also and that case also, Milord, this Honorable Court directed for CBI inquiry and the same has been upheld by the Honorable Supreme Court of India. Yes. I'm deeply obliged for the hearing. Yes. That's so. Ask his panel whether to appoint an independent commission or not. But I am for the CBI. But pursuant to your Lordship's direction, we are carrying out the investigation. Hmm. If any point of time, if your Lordship's feel that our assistance is required, Milord, we are ready to do so. The rational scam we have already prayed or transfer it to the CBI. That matter is pending before the honorable single judge. Mm. They were supposed to give their opposition being delayed because of that. One. Second, because we have no finesse, nor we, have, we want to glamorize the amount of money which is being uh, they are being accused of being laundered. We are uh, after proceeds of crime. No, no. The KG submission was that court should take stock of the performance of some central agencies in the past. No, no, the rate, I, I should, I should, the I conviction I rate, I how your investigations did, how many ended in conviction, how many years you took to investigate. I shall, I shall hear a very simple answer to a complex question. Well, Lord, I have been in this particular job on and from 2021. And prior to that, as a public interest, wherever I used to fight in public interest, at each and every step, stumbling blocks are there. If we take a person for his voice sampling, we are being stalled. My Lord, when we, even in instant cases, my Lord, when an order was there, from this honorable court to hand over custody just on the ground that a SLP is pending before the honorable Supreme Court of India, which was not even listed. My Lord's order was flouted and I had to move a contempt the next day. And since I was apprehensive, I made this submission before the honorable division bench, hearing the contempt matter that my Lord will allow me to come back at 4.15. My Lord will allow, tell them to hand over the custody to us at 4.15, before the court hours end, because we had seen the, the last day when your Lordship said 4.30. So, my Lord, this is the conduct which was always there. We didn't start the fire. It was always burning since the world was turning. It has been the order of the day right from the time when CBI inquiries have been ordered by this Honorable Court. And my Lord, I ask the question to myself. If state authorities, there have been ample of judgments of this Honorable Court, where this Honorable Court has made us, rather not ED, not ED, Milord, the CBI, functional in the state because of the dereliction on the part of the state authority, be it postponed, Milord, Milord, we'll see the uh, constitutional bench judgment of the postponed, Milord, where it has been said it was the rule of the ruler, not the rule of law. And before that, Narada Sada went a state agency has been found incompetent by this honorable court. CBI has been directed. It is not a feasible to CBI or the central has come to take it. And then we look each and every stage. The state government through the, its instrumentalities are standing as a stumbling block. So we look how the investigation will proceed. Once to the accused person always know it is an order of the day. Whatever is there in the CRP section, they will respond to all those applications. Once the charge sheet is filed, sanction is not being given. Well, I was fighting. That is my, before the other um, uh, coordinate uh, honorable division bench, Millard, in the school service commission cases, sanction is not being given. Yesterday, Millard, we had written to the authorities yesterday. Notices were issued. Nobody appeared for the state. The learned GP was asked to appear at 2 p.m. As to why sanctions are not being given, and there has been an order by this honorable court that by Tuesday, if they do not answer as to why the sanctions are not being provided 
to for the trial to start to the CBI, then the secretary will be going called okay. before this honorable court. So, my lord, this is uh, this is what is happening. But we 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 there we have to follow the law. While we are investigating, either in another case, one of the honorable ministers was in the PG. Cameras were being put. We had put the camera. Application was filed here that his privacy is being infringed with. Well, so many things, Miller. Well, so, Miller, well, under those circumstances, Miller, well, we don't have infrastructure. We do not have security for ourselves, Miller. Well, in Bokto, even that incident happened, gruesome incident happened. And then after that, one of the uh, well, uh, accused persons committed suicide. FIR was registered against all the officers, including the DIG of the CBI. I was one of the persons who was fighting for CBI special crime branch at that point of time. So, you know, this is what is happening now. How we can conclude the investigation and how we can come All right. Like you know, Mr. Tivedi should advise his client that sanction is like writing a judgment. <laughs> only, only giving the cost title, the sanction cannot come. Only one page letter gives sanction. Without the evidence. The matter is <laughs> subdued is not for us. When Chachi is being filed, Milad, all documents are before the court of law. Milad, your Lord Chief knows on basis of that sanction being sought for. And Milad, they are... That's Milad, what I'm saying, Mr. Trivedi should advise his Milad, client. It is after filing of the chart sheet. So there has to be some material on which the sanction will be sought for. So what Mr. Milad, Advocate General is saying is not correct. Morning, I think it's not going to be Okay, advice for the body. Would be a better advice if we both went to the The we have heard the submissions of all the learned advocates at great length. Okay, <laughs> Orders on the various prayers <laughs> would, be made, uh, would be passed. For which <laughs> case is reserved for passing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give a date. We had only one uh, clarification subject to Lodge's permission. But several cans have been filed. We have not been served. I do not know whether your lodges have finally heard. It or not. No, no, that's a big problem. A lot of cans are there. Yes. We have seen the report of the amicus. We have seen can three. Can not three have not been served on me. Where they have been closed. No, no, no. Can not served on me. Can three has not been served because we want to file a reply by way of affidavit just for the records of the court. State should also so give a response because be served on some uh, commission's report, I am told, will not is hmm. annexed to it. All right, we'll do something. Wait, much of I'm grateful. Man. Lordships, I've just served my uh, affidavit copy to the uh, other side, but uh, not these affidavits I haven't served. The annexures I haven't served to what anyone. What are these? these are? This is for the court. This is for the court. Except the court, I haven't served to the Advocate General and others. Oh, this is application along with those. My sir. application, my can is there, your lordship, in the beginning, and then the volumes are there. The first volume includes only women's uh, complaints. The others are uh, the complaints of land grabbing, and towards the end, it is general complaints which I have received of individual person coming. And then I took the notary, fifteen to seventeen advocates from the court. They helped me to go there five times, from morning till late evening. We held camps in different locations. Grateful lordships. And I'll just be handing over those three documents, which are... Ah, yes, please give
कॉन्टेस्ट ही नहीं बनेगा